Frustrate us. So why can't you laugh? Why can't you steal? Why can't you alight? And tell us it's no beef. You see, we just tell you that why we both tell you. But you screw us, you screw us, you use us and later on abuse us. So why, why, why? The Baba makes you lie. Why, why, why? But that's the question that we ask. Hello, fellow Liberians. This is Joseph Yumabuoka. It is time to be counted for the upcoming general election. And I'm asking you to please make sure to register to vote. Every election is determined by the people who show up and vote. One of the penalties for refusing to participate in politics is that you end up being governed by people you did not elect. 
We must never forget the importance of making our vote count. We paid high price for this democracy as a people. Let us protect and defend it. Voting is the expression of our commitment to ourselves, our children, our welfare to this country, and our one world. Please listen out for the dates and the places and go and register to vote. The rescue mission is well on course. When you register and vote, you will think Liberia, love Liberia, and then build Liberia. Again, I say this is Ambassador Joseph Nimabwa. Oh, man. 
Travel defense, hey. travel defense. Hey. But I met one girl, it's not the time, but I don't defense it. He's warming up, uh. my man is warming up. Check it. Yeah, he's jogging, hey. jogging, uh. jogging. Hey. And the crowd yeah. is cheering for the one I have. But I would think I want to tell you, Bobby. It's a girl in defense, oh. Hello, 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 hello. Pia, how are you, my brother? Uh, <clears throat> thank God, man. We here. Uh, yeah, it's good to see you. Um, how are the blank yeah. people on the thing? Jerry, I know your wife did, man, but Jupor. Jerry, Jupor, and the other way. Uh, I'm in a blank spot. Um, it's good to see you again after the weekend. We're we're back. Jerry, uh, happy birthday. I know you celebrated your birthday. Are you celebrating your birthday? Uh, Jerry, out of position, you can see you clearly. Like, there's a light. We're going to let you keep on your arm so from your back there. We're going to let you. There's a light from your back. It gave me all sorts of that light right there. You're going to reposition it somewhere. Yes, I like I'm right in front of you. If you, want, if you want us to see you clearly, got to be in yeah, front of you. Yeah, using light, put the light in front of you, Jerry, not behind you. Put it left behind yeah, the left in front of you. Very well. That's how you use light. Let it face you straight. It will be okay. Let it face you from behind your phone. That's better. It's okay, right? That's yes. better. Oh you yeah. Put, give you you better, it yeah, yeah. Give you better. Yeah. Give you better future. My man, happy birthday. Um, it's good that you can celebrate your birthday. They say birthdays are good. Statistics shows that the that the more birthday you celebrate, the longer you live. And so we say, yeah, may you live. May you live until you die. <laughs> <laughs> May you live a day die, yeah. yeah thank you, you thank like you very you much, and die. thanks to all of you guys. Yeah, for that the, we can celebrate birthday and being alive for the be so. for the best wishes. Yes, yes. yeah. Uh, I feel honored today. Even after present, people are still posting. You know, it makes me to believe that everything in life is about life. Not okay. Yeah. Yeah, everything in life is about life. So, exactly. I mean, and life. it's good that you can have people um, send you best wishes. You know, wish you the best on your birthdays. On your birthday is something uh, a lot of people don't don't usually get. Uh, when you can get people to wish you happy birthday, uh, you have to be grateful. Um, oh yeah, yeah. But it's good that we are back. Um, it's good to see you all. Jupo, how are you there? And the Miata is, 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 is backstage. You'll be joining us shortly. Um, PI is here, of course. So today is uh, Monday. Um, the year is fast moving in April already. Today is the third day of April, the year 2023. Um, you'll be surprised that uh, this year is uh, in the fourth month already. Just the other day, we were, we were talking about Christmas. Now we're, going f we're in the fourth month of the year, which is April. Uh, we got six more months to go to elections. Um, six months to elections. Um, and 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 a lot of a lot of lot of lot of things happening across the country. Um, today we'd like to welcome all of our listeners to the class reloaded. As always, uh, we come your way Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday on uh, on the following radio stations. That's Bushwa Radio FM ninety eight point one. Premium FM 98.1 in Bangapon County, Radio Tupa FM 89.1 in Basso, in, in the Canada Grand Basso County, Tupa FM 99.3 in uh, in Lofa County, Radio Joy Africa FM 97.5 all the way there in Magibi, and of course Voice of Gompa FM 106.5 all the way there in Gompa City. Uh, Nima County. On tonight's edition, we have, uh, of course, Jerry Lumi, Matthew Pia, one of our panelists, uh, and Timiata Fambule, also a panelist here, yeah, regular panelist, um, Jerry Nima Nyimpa, a regular panelist, and along with uh, uh, Michelle Chupo, all the way there in 
Bunga City from County. Um, let me recognize our students, um, our classmates. If you share the show, this time we'll give incentive. Only people who share the show will, will try to recognize. If you share the show, I'm not calling your name. Uh, anybody who share that, people I will, I will recognize. If you didn't share the show, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not calling your name. So that they assignment that. Uh, let me see who. Oh, let me see. Somebody say, I don't wish them. Eh? You wish me happy birthday. Happy birthday, Anna Harris. Uh, duo Anna Harris, uh, happy birthday to you. I'd like to wish you many, 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 many happy returns uh, of your little day. Um, if you share, we'll, we'll, we'll recognize you. Um, let me recognize. Uh, I see Clendid, uh, uh I see Phoebe, Warite, Foaming, Massacre. Uh, Phoebe say I shared 29 times. Wow, that's nice. Um, Deborah Snotting, Susan Puaka, Erwin J. Meyer, he said, boy, someone all driving. He said, he's driving. Yeah, he's trying. He get back on the side. That's shit. Uh, Samuel McGill, James. Uh, and he's he driving and he's still able to text. Yeah, he's driving. He's he he commenting. Then he's taking more. <laughs> oh, my EJ. Uh, Richard Mumbai, Mumbai, uh, the Toman Williams. He said, I want my t shirt. Please tell me the cost. Send me a message on uh, the Toma. Um, send a message to my impact. I see Cecil K. Nathan. Yeah, thanks, bro. Uh, James Harry, Darlington, Kunu, Eric Apia, Bradley Brown, Maya Tia, Musa, Musa Kamara, Stanley Stanley, Chinning, Chinning Melasia, uh, V. Jamunde, Sam Zos, Paul Smith, Andrew Jejua, um, Steve Wasson, Doris Gonganu, Thomas Bondo, Touch. Yeah, Touch not my noted. It's a beautiful platform. Thanks. I've shared plenty of time. Augustine Nepal, Naplika, Malaba Sons. I've shared 10 times. Thanks. Chick Ali, Semzo, Elijah Ali, Benedict Sonda, um, Heston Coco, Alexander Sayons. I'm following from a proper resident. B. Kroman, Isaac, Tom, Pedro. Say so I've shared. Thank you, Isaac. Uh, Milia, Chi, Getru, Freeman. Say so I've shared five times. Thanks, Getru. Tama Brahma. Watching from Central Moria. Joseph Kokro from Hamilton, New Jersey. Uh, Patrick Biddy, how are you, Patrick? Uh, Philip Dipo Lipo Davis, Samuel, Jemuel Samuel, Daxisha uh, Stoa. Chokon Bazi, I've shared 20 times my personal favor. Thank you, Chokon. Amos Kodan Benan, Daniel Sherman, say, uh, uh, Lawrence Boa, Lawrence, say, hey, Lawrence, my man, what's up? Uh, Lawrence, Lawrence Boa, how are you, my man? Merry Christmas, boy. It's good to see you. <laughs> it's been a while, my man. Uh, Solomon FD, uh, Matthew, William Martin, Sam, Abosio, Melvin Wallo, and all of you wonderful people finding guitar where. Uh, Roosevelt Yuma, Chokon Freeman from Capital Papa, Manuel P. watching from Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, Ada May Taylor, Ada, how are you? Um, this is following Comrade Ada, how are you? Tony, Tony Sin Wonkba, Sam Odu, George Innes, uh, Jerry Bowie, Rice Morris, Rebecca Tayo, Kaifa Yama, Boaka Siafa, I'm here. Uh, Charles Edda Smith, she have shared. Um, Kono Harris, uh, Flomo Livingston, Aquila James, uh, Janetta Talbot, and all of you wonderful people watching. I'd like to thank you all for, for sharing the show. Uh, tonight's edition, James Oka, Pierre, uh, all of you people, Vera Horace, um, Isaac, Tom, Pedro, and all of you. Vera, you're in Liberia, right? Yeah, I saw pictures of you in Monrovia. I hope you're having a wonderful time in Liberia there. Uh, Deborah, Kiawood, Gaffi, Sama, Sam Nasa, about Brian Anna Hart <laughs> watching from the presidential state of Delaware. What's up? Uh, all of you wonderful people I'd like to thank you all for sharing the show. Well, we'd like to welcome you today to another edition of the program, The Class Reloaded. I'm your host, Stephen Johnson. On tonight, uh, we will be looking at first begin the conversation with what's trending. Our panelists will talk about trending national issues. And then we'll look at uh, some, some latest happening in the country, beginning with the uh, the National Elections Commission has indicated that uh, the voter registration process will not be extended. We'd we'll like to know reason why. I uh, would we'll like to 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 peek into her brain and see what what is she thinking and uh, 
and, and, and maybe hear from our people the how how the how is the process uh, now that we've gone almost to the climax of uh, Montserrado, uh, other counties in the first phase we'd like to see uh, that climate and then we'll look at the strike action today there was another protest at the same ministry of transport um, today um workers had a had a sit-in action preventing normal activity at the ministry this is uh it's the second of series of protest action um, at that ministry. Uh, and we, we see that across the civil service, there has been a huge discontentment regarding pay. Um, we've seen medical doctors complain about not being paid since February. Um, now February has almost 60 days, according to TOL calendar. Uh, people have not been paid going up in April, people have not been paid for February. So those are things we'll look at, but we'll first start from what's trending. Uh, Jupal will take us, will begin this session, followed by Jerry, and the Miata, and then Pia. So Jupal, what's trending from your end? Uh, thank you so much. And so many issues trending from our end. As you may be aware, uh, we came from a long weekend break. Uh, so number one issue from our end tonight, uh, citizens of Bond County are actually demanding that appointed government officials are vowing for elective positions in the county to turn down the resignation because according to them, uh, the prescribed dip set up by the president of the Republic of Liberia is actually far because, I mean, uh, is, is, is actually far because again, have a, uh, I mean, a constitution saying that people should resign two years and then giving people a, about six months or maybe five or six months to actually do their resignation. So the citizens said, I mean, the, 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 the appointed government officials should actually resign if only they are serious about going out to contest for elective positions in their respective districts. And number two, Trenton Isu from my end tonight, uh, Former Bond County Senator Henrik Willy Yala. You know, it may seems to be uh, in a political disarray because after he lose the election to. About to, getting to feedback Bonk. from you, like something or like something or like yeah, a they, or something. Uh, re reinforce. Go ahead. You, give, you are giving out some like a brief. Like a brief. Oh, like Much okay two, now. Like you got two devices. Now. No, like we 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 falling here, so yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hearing myself. But is it? You don't speak out. That's the reason. But I shouldn't get feedback. Like I like when I talk, it delay, then it come back to it come back to me. Okay now. Uh, let me see. Yes, much better. So you were on speaker, that's the reason. So uh, former Bond County Senator Henrik Yala, you know, it may seems to be in a political disarray. Uh, he actually lost to current Senator Prince Cameron Moisonia. And he, he had an intention of contesting for, I mean, a Senate seat or either representative seat in Bond County. But then there was this, this uh, political gossip around that Jeremiah Poon is actually going to be selected as the vice running mate to Joseph Nyemambuaka. And he actually went in a political gathering where he told his people that consultations are actually nearing completion and he's going to be the vice running mate to Jeremiah Poon. But then this political gossip, which has not actually been been confirmed yet, uh, I mean, it's so coming up now that uh, the, 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 the senator is going to be the vice running mate to uh, the former vice president. So he's, he's actually confused because he's one person who's been preaching, I mean, a political message called Greedy Hunter, where he said his major rivals are Greedy Hunter, wherein they have, I mean, served as representative two times. And of course, coming back to serve as senator, they agreed with Hunter. But then he, after losing the election, he he he, he actually want to come and go for a lower seat. So his message seems to be turning against him. 
and his plans of 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 running as vice running mate to uh the senator in Lima County seems not to be I mean coming to fruition because uh if the the, the gossip is actually confirmed then that means I mean he's he's going to be left with absolutely no hope. So to conclude, uh, there was a statement from the ruling CDC over the weekend, wherein they said, "If only we are given a chance to, I mean, to 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 serve this country for the next six years beyond October 10, uh, there will be no space, absolutely no space or no job for opposition candidates in the country." So. Uh, this is a, I mean, a concern that was raised uh, by uh, Jefferson Koji, and many citizens in Bank have sharply reacted to it because they said you cannot be running a democracy state wherein uh, you are like twins' mother. You you are you are serving everyone, and you should serve them equally. And then you coming out now that because we have, uh, I mean, political difference or political differences. So for that reason, I mean, you will not give people another job beyond 2023. And so many feel that this is a disservice to the Liberian people. Just by the fact that we are all humans, we have our, our own, I mean, way of reasoning. If, I, if I'm not supporting you, that doesn't mean that if you are given chance to serve these people in Liberia beyond, I mean, October 10, meaning that if my brother is from, I mean, an opposition camp, meaning that he should be given a job. So, the, I mean, citizens in Bong actually uh, reacted to that. They said it is wrong and there's a need for the government to actually retract such, uh, such statement. So that's the 20 news from my end tonight. Thank you, thank you. Um, Jerry, what's what's trending? Yeah, um, from my end, uh, actually, I'm concerned about the statement from the election commission. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll come to it in the conversation. Okay, 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 okay. And, 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 and and besides that, I want to talk about the president. Since the president returned to Liberia, I mean, I, I'm wondering why, 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 why did he call out speech from the Liberian people? And, you know, he called out speech. He, I mean, he didn't tell us about what he went for in the United States. And he got on the airport, generally asking, and he said, oh, you want to ask the president for the whole program? So who went to the place now? Who might ask the Joseph Minister or who ask what? The president will ask him. So the president needs to tell us, you know, these things are taxpayer resources being used. Up to now, we have not gotten any serial report from the Qatar, America, Paris, and all the kind of trades. That's why I can make people to, okay, we live with speculations. And then they will say people in the diaspora are against them. For their own role they can do. That's why they can fall in. So the president cannot travel from the United States with all these speculations. I mean, he cannot speak to the country. And, you know, and my second issue quickly is that uh, the, the president during his State of the Nation address promised to increase civil servant salary. We do not know what's going on right now. The start of the budget, and, you know, why since January the president said it, this is April. And we are seeing, you know, we'll come later to the issue of protest according to you. And, you know, I mean, why are you, why, why the ministry of finance? Because anything the president says is a policy statement. And it was acted upon by the legislature. We do not know what's going on. Because with all of these uh, issues, our people need to take pay. The money has already been harmonized. And then the president in the last year, because of political decisions, you increase it. But why have you not? And you know, so uh, these are the issues from my end. And some of the issues I want to talk about, but we'll discuss it later yeah. on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jerry. And Timiata? 
<clears throat> Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Afternoon to the people in the diaspora that uh, we do not <clears throat> know. Um, I'd like to start my own trending issues. Uh, uh, stream before end the other start. I saw a post that says you're broadcasting Friday edition of the show on YouTube, so they want you to edit it. Not the current edition, but Friday edition. We're not hearing what you say because you're muted. The current one is on my page, Stephen. Okay. Yes, yeah, Senator, they don't post it. He said what is being broadcast on YouTube is the Friday edition, not the current edition. Yes. yes. So let me, let me, let me. Thank you, Senator. At least you see the Senator is monitoring, our principal is monitoring us. <laughs> very, very good. Um, April, April, April. Today, I have to recognize um, one of Liberia's most talented in the creative world. My brother and friend and our national painter, I call him. Today is Leslie Lume's birthday. And as a creative artist, I have struggled, struggled within my society as to why we don't show appreciation for what is ours. Um, the painting behind me is one by Leslie Lumet, and you can see an individual who goes into detail of our life. Leslie's contemporaries in Ghana are selling paintings like this for $20,096. In Nigeria, people are paying $50,000, dollars for works of art. I think, uh, I think your EFP is affecting your voice. It's low. You can't hear me. <clears throat> Okay, you know what? I'm going to hand over to you, Pierre, and let me call and see if we can adjust this. It's much better. It's much better. You can go ahead. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And, like, and, and, and so this has always been, you know, part of the journey of torture. Uh, when will we reach the stage where we appreciate our artists? I'm sure if I throw the name of Caesar Harris, out there, if I throw the name of Van Richards out there, many Liberians who are supposed to be, um, how do I call it, metropolitan or cosmopolitan, have no idea who these people are or were. And they were some of our great artists. So for me, I, I, I send my hats off to Leslie Lumet for keeping the torch burning in the world of our artists. Boys, most of you are, yeah, all of you are boys. So that you'll be very interested in this trending issue of mine. Uh, I don't know how many of you keep up with Nigeria's social life or in generality and have heard of a character by the name of Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy, musician, entrepreneur, activist, mad, crazy artist like myself, is just released from the hospital, having undergone a prostrate operation. Yes, uh, Mr. Pierre, and to all of you, this is a disease that affects black men. We haven't found out the reasons why, but the same reason that black people are the ones affected by sickle cell. So I'd like to put this motherly, sisterly advice to all of you, especially if you're over 40. Try and get a prostate exam every six months or annually because it can come on you. Um, people ignore it and it's, it's, it's something that can be treated. No one, no man has to die on prostrate cancer if it's taken care of. 
so that's my trending what else do i have here okay you say if you don't know where you're coming from you never know where you go and for me april april the month of april is always a reflective month for me as an individual and i'm sure many other people because I was spiraled into madness. Hit us in April. By the way, my birthday is the 15th, so I won't be celebrating. <laughs> because we've gone nowhere. <laughs> but the month of April for Liberians should be a time for us to be reflecting where we are today and if we're going anywhere for tomorrow. April 14th, April 12th, April 22nd. April 6th. I, I said April 6th. April 6th. Well, that's your generation. That's your generation. April 6th to me was a date where warlords were all over the city fighting, right? And threw things into chaos. But for our April, it was unexpected, wild. And it changed the course of the country history. It changed the course of our history, which we thought would be better which we thought would be better, would make our country better. However, 2023, we say we are practicing a democracy and you have an individual who stands in front of Liberians to tell them that if you have an opposing view if you don't agree that you your human rights will be violated i want to hear the human rights people on this your human rights is violated because they're saying okay you can't get a job with the government and yes government is not the only employer but how is it that we reach that stage how how did it even come out of his mouth for it to drop on the ground, for us to be reporting it in this Liberia that so many people have died, we've shed blood, we've destroyed our infrastructure, what little we had. How? How? Ah, la, 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 la. I, you know, for me, I will not, to even comment on this little boy's crap. I'm 75 years old. I got a child who is older than Jefferson Koji and got more sense in his head. And got more sense in his head. What is this in our country? The last time I missed out two things that I observed while I was in my motherland. I'm all for development in Liberia, but I think people should stop playing games with the people of our country. While I was there, two companies were launched, initiated. One that worries me is something called the Global Pharmaceutical manufacturing company they're going to be making medicines they're going to be making medicines we cannot even trust the health sector the health sector we all of us we know that we can't even trust the health sector you say you're coming to start producing medicine 
to give to our people, or maybe they got an exclusive right to export. I hope they're exporting. I hope they are exporting and I hope they're about they... to use Liberia as guinea pigs. You know, and then and then the other joke. Some company is coming in to make mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, my people. We 5.2 million people. Only 200,000 got refrigerators. I didn't hear you, Pierre. No, he's talking, he talking to somebody. OK. <laughs> yes. 200,000 people in the whole country got refrigerator and constant light. And you are talking about bringing a, a, a mayonnaise company. Like my sister said, we're not even thinking of bringing in company to make copy books, to make pencils so our children and everybody else who wants to go to school can get an education. We're not thinking about those useful things. People are coming up with these schemes, schemes, because that's what they are, laundering money and all kinds of illegalities. You're stuck. Your staff, not all of us are stupid in that country. Thank you, Stephen. Thank I'm you, thank you, Demiata. Pia, if you did, um, but any matter, you struck, you struck a very good point, and you, Jupoy, and, uh, and Jerry. On, you see, a lot of times, our people forget about the history of our country and where we've come from, um, and how divided that country is a lot of time we ignore the division and pretend like uh librarians are a bunch of unified people we're not the level of anger we witnessed the level of catastrophe we witnessed during the war liberians all liberians not foreigner liberians against liberian tells you how much that country is divided and and, and then and then to make matter worse, we, we're divided on, on tribal lines, on religious lines. To make matter worse, this government has included the political line, which makes it even more, more of a division, to the point where your friends who are in government are afraid to even hang out with you before they lose their job. Those who, those who, 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 who have jobs are afraid to speak their mind before they lose their jobs. And then an idiot like Koji comes to a party headquarters and tells Liberia, and then, and then she'll send a message to some of those those folks who think that they, they're in opposition, but they're secretly supporting these guys. When when the government, and then we have a PIC, when the government took over in 2018, there is a, there is a list that they published called the CDC Black List. My name was on that list, number three on that list. Pia were on that list. And the, and the intent of that list was that these are people that should never get job under a weird presidency. Now, the, the, the irony to that is most of the people on that list, including myself, were people who were educated by the very government. That's right. And so one of the things you're doing is that you're losing out on your talent. You know, and, 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 and Singapore is Singapore today and how it managed to gravitate from a third world to a first world country well, because of three key reasons. One, they built a marriage system that those who got jobs and those who were placed in position to serve the public didn't get it because of the connection. They got it because of the capability and their ability and their skill set to deliver. That was the, sec the first thing. The second thing was pragmatism. The Singapore president, Lee Kuan Yew, thought that no fix, there was no simple bullet policy to solving government's problem. You got to take from every different, whether it's authoritarianism, democracy, or other socialist tendency, you have to borrow these concepts and add it to come up with something that will fit your 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 country to be country specific and then the third thing which he talked about 
and which is missing totally in Liberia is the issue of honesty. How do you fight corruption in the absence of honesty? How many of our people have ethical values? How, how is ethics being taught in our schools? Many kids go to school nowadays, they don't even have uh, 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 that ethical value from whom? You send them to pass, soft drink, they run away with the change. Or they pretend like no change and for you to forget and they take it. You go by in the street, somebody wants to rob you. You know, those are, those, and before we saw how strong Liberia was on ethics growing up in the community, how, how families, community neighbors stress on the issue of ethics. If you went outside and behave a certain way, your neighbor, your, 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 your man friend sees you, you're in trouble. Okay. You're in trouble. So we, so then, then you come to power and you think that you can ostracize other people and, 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 and you expect them to sit quietly when, 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 when their livelihood is being affected. They're not going to sit. They're not going to sit. Let me go to Pia. Pia. Thank you. Uh... It's good for us to be here as usual. And uh, I listen very keenly to Auntie Miata, particularly her last point. And I want to link that to my first uh, talking point on a trending issue. So on, uh, on um, Saturday, we're in Washington, D.C. And we've gone to attend the launch of the new book written by journalist Ronnie C. The unofficial. Somebody's talking. Yeah, sorry that you have to hear that in, in this America, our apartments are small, our kids are here. Is it's difficult to sometimes get thoroughly infringed on their rights in a small space. So, <laughs> yeah, so we went to see Ronnie's uh, book launch. During the question and answer period, there was a question Ronnie, I, I mean, so Ronnie answered that I want to link directly to what you just said. And he was talking about his work and why he feels passionately about what he is doing. And he made this example linking us to what happened on April 12th. And he said, you know, April 12th, the top of government was overthrown. People were placed on the polls, they were killed. A lot of other people died that we don't talk about besides who were placed on the polls. And then he said, interestingly, the government was said to have been overthrown for rampant corruption. And he said in his answer, he said, but it's sad to note that the country, even right now as we speak, for the current people in power, the country is more corrupt, 10 times more corrupt than the people we killed on the life pool for quote unquote rampant corruption. So he said, so for me, I owe this to the country because how can we overthrow a whole government, kill people? And the very things for which we said we killed those people, that's quadruple. It means we killed them for nothing. And then he said something. He said when the government was overthrown, the national legislature, for example, was made almost entirely of American Liberians. And he said many people believe it was wrong, and some used it as a justification for the overthrow. Then he said, but today, I don't know whether somebody can help me to find one Congo person or a miracle Liberian person at the Capitol building. So the point was, how come we brought a whole coup, killed people in 1980, for things we believe were wrong, and today, those things have worn long trousers if they were in short trousers. And that brings me to just everything you said. Like Bira is just in trouble because this is a history. It's on a history book. It's available. Some of you fools don't read them. The likes of the Jefferson Koji. 
we talk about the Congo people being in a minority and that they were enjoying the country, the majority was being ostracized and, 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 and relegated to the margins of society. And a few people who perhaps do not even constitute the best of our people, they are on the list of the capacity we need to run our country. But they sit there and believe that government, they don't even understand that they, when, when you run a government, that government is called the government of the Republic of Liberia. It is not the government of the United Party or the government of the CDC. It, so it's the Liberian people's government. And that participation in the government should not be based on your party line. But yet this fool who doesn't understand anything, every time he gets to a microphone, he talks nothing but nonsense, and say, our job, and we'll win the election, nobody, no opposition should worry. The country now for, for, for CDC, the country is the Republic of Liberia. It is for the Liberian people. And every Liberian has the right to work in their own country. Let's even say immediately the kingdom of power, they pass this stupid list around called rest list. Who are you to tell somebody that they're supposed to rest from working? And these are the same fools, the Jamaican Koji, all of they were behind those stupid, stupid right out. And even having serving government for nearly six years, they've not grown, they've not developed any serious IQ. They're still stupid, they're still tall red, they're still silly. And he's a fool who doesn't care about himself because this boy, everybody who dies in the country, you wasn't could you name it inside. You would think that is a reason for him to conduct himself differently. But no, he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it. The big trouble you will find is right under your hand. We're waiting. He said he's in America to sue Verdia. And people who listening to me on this program can write it down and mark it in a book. There was in Koji Sue Verdia. You don't go to Liberia. Because Voida took got plan for them. As he's suing, Voida will be suing for something else. And he will not leave this country. He'll be held onto until whatever he'll be sued for will go through. So let him be as stupid as he is and keep doing what, what he thinks he's doing. He's talking about nobody should work. But maybe Stephen ain't know. But I know. Maybe you not know, but Stephen should know. These fools are not working for government, they are getting money every month. Free money, they're not working for it. During the early time. Whatever the source of the money was, from somewhere, he, the Mamesi, Kabad, the base, the Da, every one of them, Karasko, this. Those were people on Monday remuneration for working, zero. What did the people in power do that at the time? Maybe to preserve the peace of the country. And besides that, that was just for those of them who did not have the space to be in government. But how many, people, how many of the opposition people were not in government? In fact, the very beginning of the crisis between Ellen and the United Party was, be, was from the foundation of the government. Ellen constituted her cabinet. I'm not sure up to seven cabinet members were from her party. She didn't do it with a negative intent. She was looking for the best of the brains. She wanted Antonin Sai. Antonin Sai didn't have to be in any party which she brought her. She wanted Dr. Chris to. She wanted the likes of Tiawan Gonglo to, to go and be Solicitor General. So she didn't care whether Tiawan was part of her party. She wanted Kofi Wu. She didn't care whether Kofi Wu was in party politics, but Kofi Wu had been outstanding as a progressive and a human rights lawyer. She wanted the likes of Olubanki King Haki Rene. They didn't have to be in her party. So she was looking for a conglomeration of competent people because that's what the country needed at the time. The United Party was responsible enough to give in because they wanted the best of the country. Not these fools. Even though they don't have the capacity, they want a partisan-driven government. And they continue to cause trouble for our country. So we had that boat launch and, and, and Ronda did a good piece of job. But that book long, I was telling Stevie at the background that I realized that a lot of people appreciate what we do here. The number of persons who I don't know, but who just recognize the face, not recognizing him because our press secretary, or recognizing him from the class reloader who came up to me. If I was telling Stevie why I'm pushing for running to sign my book, this guy just walked to me. And he greeted me, I didn't know him. Then he opened a weather, he took off for it. I said, My contribution to the class, the, my contribution. I said, To what? 
For what? Then he just a class reloader, and when I wanted to ask him for a moment, I see you, Baba, that's my contribution. It tells you how motivated people are. This man went for a different program. He sees me on the line, going to have a, my, 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 my autograph copy. And he just said, yes, something. You know, uh, uh, some of our follow, yeah, uh, uh, Glenda, I saw Glenda and everybody there, you know, at least they all show respect. They recognized me, we interacted. Uh, unapologetic, another lady, I think that's just a social media name, I'm not sure that's her, her actual name. They all came forward. They at least they all could say, well, thank you for what you're doing for our country. And I'm saying this because I want all of you who are here, nobody is paying you, you can't be sitting here with all your time, talking like various kids. What you do is appreciated. People love what you do, people think you're doing a great deal of, of contribution to your country, and we just got to stand firm. Because when I look at this platform, and I'm Mano Stevie, and Andy Miata, if all the rest of the people that can come on me, Jerry, DuPaul, Darlington, and the rest of the people, if they were not doing so, then maybe this show is dead. Because all the original people who put it together, everybody left. Start the two of you. That's how we dash people hope. People depend on us for things. We started, we raised their hope, and then along the way for reasons we can't even explain our backs are turned. You know, uh, quickly, so let me just quickly also say that I'm hearing that the we are government, uh, their delegation to the Democracy Summit uh, formally endorsed gay right. I don't know how they're going to wrap up with that in the Liberian society going towards election. With their, with their endorsement, are you surprised? Please? With their endorsement of gay rights in a society where some people are still fighting that the country was founded on Christian principles, I would like to say <laughs> religious principles because all the religion you have set principles that you just value certain things, and maybe because you are not some strong warning from the Americans and for other reasons you endorse gay rights. Uh, Stanton and Toy case is pushed from. April now to June. Oh, no. we're still, yeah, yeah, we're still watching. And I and I and I and I, and I now take interest in that case because and me, I think we got some people, a lot of people in our country that we respect, they got issues. Mm -hmm. So Stanton says things, and people don't want to look at what he says, and the opinion you form should be based on what you think about the thing he said. But all people just jump and say, who is Stanton a criminal for him to test him out of so if Stanton, if, if two wanted to get Stanton 50,000 and the, the facts are there, what the fact that he, he has his own case, which is not guilty of, he's accused, he's indicted, he can go to court and be acquitted, often guilty, anything can happen. Fortunately, in America, the legal system works. And some people now believe it means you have no opinion on anything. I thought they themselves are injured. So, so, so it makes me to take interest in that case. And we all want to see how it ends. Because this is America, things work. Donald Trump just arrived in New York. That's what makes this country different from a lot of countries, including Liberia. He just landed in New York. And he will be a ring in court tomorrow. Because he's been indicted. Very good. Because he's been indicted. That's so saying work in other countries, they don't care. When you're looking at level of, 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 of stature, you are above the law. Things work here. Yeah. So take time how you classified Stanton until his case is adjudicated. Trump is here. Since it's in that way, other people believe it will cause five. The recent poll, CNN yet released a poll today. 60% of the American population agrees with the indictment. Contrary to what people think it would have been a political tech win for him. That's what makes the country work. Respect for the rule of law. Until we learn some of these values and take a Bible, where our president can just do things, nobody cares, they, they in government, they form their own companies, they can leave the country for 60 days, nothing happen. Constitutional day for things to happen, can't, it doesn't happen, nobody question him. That's the problem we have. Thank you, Stevie. Thank you, thank you, Pia. Uh, 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 Stevie, yeah, uh, Stevie I, I just wanted to uh, add a little bit to what uh, you said about the recognition of being on the class reloaded. Getting to Monrovia, I decided, in fact, my 
school friends, my honey wash girls. They sent me a specific message. Miata, no go there, go open you much. They cost all man and do all them business. We're not able, we're not able to rescue you. I said, okay. So I went in on a low profile, did what I had to do, but there were certain places I had to go in the public. And Stevie, you won't believe it. Um, and take me out. I mean, I got on sunglasses. I got on these glasses. People haven't seen me for a year. And I'm walking in there, and a waiter, a waiter or a waitress, they walk up to me. Good evening. How is the class reloaded? <laughs> they call my name. <laughs> I just look at it and say, You better get away from here. <laughs> It happened to me three times. Individual I didn't know. I thought, you know, I'm incognito. The people are watching. And like I said, these these were not the people who we share to, or yeah. my friends I share to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Waiters in the restaurants or uh, ordinary workers in the telephone companies, etc. They are watching and they are learning. So yes, we keep doing our big one. The class yeah, and it's you know it's good. Every day because uh, um, we, we've been not uh, uh, And Stevie, just before you respond to any matter, we will say this thing. At least we got people who can testify. Our brother, a gospel, a gospel freeman, is a journalist in Liberia. I think he followed the show because as soon as I made a comment, he posted on Facebook. He said, "General Leonard Pierre." There wasn't Koji, Sego Kalasko, the Maru, Mamasi, Kabaras, etc. were all placed on special remuneration by the EJS government. Uh -huh. Besides the people who are in power. But today they are in power and they say nobody else will join a party in Malay. The country is not for party. The Korean government job is not for government, it's not for citizens, it's for civilians. Yeah. This is you are knowing the public, people, 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 people saw it, people know how they were living. They were jobless, some of them. But any salaries, in some cases more than some people who are on the job, That's right. just to keep them That's okay, right. quiet, preserve the peace. Today, everything they've done is now with the objective of, of promoting peace. The things they do, if people want to respond to it, that still, but now we're going back to war or something. Airbus sense, Airbus yeah. sense. You kill people like you kill chicken, auditors, ordinary people. Death is the order of the day. People stay in broad daylight with no fear. Somebody working for three thousand dollars in five years. He got two places all over the place, broad day, bravery. And the country is still why it is a different country. When they were even thinking about we were talking about ten ten people were going about it. Just that era of in Senegal. I show all of you follow. I told you some months ago, it's time for us to put some polls on that redemption drive, but nobody won't listen to me. They say I'm radical. <laughs> they say I'm radical. Exactly. Oh man, Richard Henry's had $27 in his account at Chase Manhattan Bank when we killed him. Imagine. Imagine. $27 and we killed him. And you've got a young girl like Findabondo. And this guy, this guy in the middle of the combat minister. How do you call that guy? I'm told he had just stayed in government. I think Chairman, 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 right? Chairman. This man I'm has been Chairman, in government for less Chairman. than a year. And you kill him, you say you ramp and corrupt. Can you imagine? And you have people like Finda, them, building estates, this person, that. I mean, come on. Nobody is jealous of them. But who are they to take advantage of the Liberian people? I just read something on one of the articles or something. Our president gets 20 million United States dollars a year in his office, office of the president, 20 million dollars. The legislature gets 64 million United States dollars a year, almost a hundred million dollars. These crooks, these greedy bastards take from the people until men and women with children got to put on blue jeans and t-shirts and go first and stand in the street to protest who are you who are you 
You are giving power and you rip your own people off. Only thing most of the Congo people that are like not that. Only I will start to say so all of them will come back. You're clear it. Wicked people, insensitive people. What money was George We are making 10 years ago? What money did he have? Ronnie Reveal in our boat. He was a poor man. He squandered it. But I saw it. He a whole career. He got I 10 million and he squandered all. I saw it. I saw it in the shoes he was wearing during the campaign in 2014. That's how I knew he was broke like myself. Then all of a sudden, we give you 20 million a year for you to involve and indulge in frivolous. You could have made that a whole career. Eh? And you think. You it's yours and you have your cadres and people disrespect because that's also disrespect the disrespecting us now that's also disrespect the disrespecting us i don't need a job from cdc i don't even want a job but i want a space an environment where i can be in my country express these very opinions you ain't like it then that's it that's all I want. I don't need your job. But when I see you're acting like you're fools and you ain't got sense, it is my right as a mother and a grandmother and a great grandmother to say, come child, sit down. Let me tell you this thing because it ain't look like you understand what's going on. That's all I want. I don't need their jobs. I need peace of my environment where I can go to sleep and I'm not afraid. Because all of us got fear. I went to my own country the other day. I spent three weeks. Every day I was locked up by six o'clock. Me, Miara Fambule. I was locked in the house by six o'clock. Everybody be careful. Don't go. Is that the Liberia we want? That's the Liberia you want to create? Just my stubbornness carry me. Because my family was against it. And I said, no. I will go. But come on. They can't be serious. And if the Liberian people are listening, the Liberian people are listening, and you go to the polls, come October and put a Jefferson Koji then back in office, you're on your own. You're not ready. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. And this will just lead us to, our, to that conversation about the protest today. Imagine, imagine parents, parents, um, who many of whom have like maybe two, three, four kids, um, and, and you're renting, you got to pay transportation, you got to pay school fees, you got to eat every day, and then they're making sixty dollars. You're paying somebody sixty dollars, you're paying somebody seventy dollars. And the funny thing is, you, you have the Minister of Finance who just five years ago was struggling, you know, in terms of pop. He was GSL, was struggling for income. I remember the Minister of Finance, when he joined us, he was complaining on the, the first salary and wanted us to increase the salary because uh, it was small for him. And then I see to a, standing before a group of protesting workers and say, the president agreed to, to carry your money to 150 cross. You know, when I look, you see, some of the some of the disrespect is it comes from the way librarian people say can, yes. can allow these people to disrespect. What the hell you call 150? The president said we'll carry your money to 150 cross. Look, you 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 think you think salary. Payment that goodwill from president. You think people people money they work for every month that president can make that determination? Can you imagine? How dare you think that people working and you know, we can go to one press conference and now oh yeah, we we'll carry your money to 150? One of the things, one of the one of the determinants of salary is the issue of the skill the person has, the, the level of experience they bring to the job, and then people take into consideration the living standard in the country. What is one hundred and fifty dollars? Let's assume you're a family of five. Mm -hmm. You pay rent, maybe thirty dollars for one bedroom house, or forty dollars for one bedroom. 
you got to come to town every day. You, the chairman, you got to come to town. Or maybe community school, you got to get every reset. You got to eat. They can say, like, but father, I can't cook cabbage. You got to eat every day. You buy a bag of rent for 20 something dollars. You buy pepper oil every day. You got to get full money, maybe $5 maximum because of the inflation. Transportation, sorry, gas prices going up. And then you brag here about paying somebody $60, $70. You just, you, 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 it's a Swiss Army mission they own. What's that? It's a Swiss Army mission. And that's why they go to work every day. Not because they want to go perform. They go there to hustle. They do hustle. That they will see people who come there as clients and they will run, you know, do their paperwork so that they too can get additional money for themselves. And then you complain that people corrupt, people not doing the work. It's because you're not being the value, the, there's no dignity of labor. There's no way you can pay somebody who has. And, and then the other funny thing, the harmonization sought to to harmonize government payroll across all um, line ministry and agency. That was the, the intent. But interestingly, an inspector at Transport Ministry makes 125. Similar inspector at Commerce Ministry makes 500. And both ministries are revenue generating ministry, right? Transport last budget year contributed $12.5 million to the budget. Mm -hmm. But yet and still, those who are responsible for collecting that much money is being paid one twenty five dollars before tax. Now, that same category of people at the Ministry of Commerce inspectors, they make $500. So what exactly did this harmonization harmonize? And that's the question. And then one of the protesters asked Minister Twain, asked Samuel Twain one very, 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 very interesting question. And everything they asked him was saying, small sense, yeah, sensing size, a very good question. The man asked him. The man said, when the, when the budget was 500 million, our salary was this much. Mm -hmm. The budget go to 850 million. How can our money coming down? You know, <laughs> when it was 500, the money was going up. Every so year, if that was twenty twenty five dollars, they were adding to the pay. So her money kept going up. Her money kept going up. When you took power, you increase the national budget to almost a billion dollar, but the mass salary keeps coming down. You sub, you, you, sub, you subject parents to, to to sit on ground to protest for for them to get them what is due them. And is it any wonder our young girls, high school? children are becoming second um providers in the home yeah is it any wonder they leave their schools change their clothes put a, a, a uniform in the book bag and they go on to these offices to 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 interact with these uh, uh greedy bastards that's the new name i take it my brother jerry rollins used to be <laughs> When I saw the yes. last one of the questions I asked for, so that the people here asking for six more years? Yes. To do what? They can so they can exploit and just run free. To so they can what? just run rampage, Stephen. So they will just run rampage because they have no idea. They have they give no you six idea years. what they are doing. They gave you six years. You made them poorer. You you a few handful of your guy rich overnight. Men like Koji who could never work before his entire life. Now own property in, in, in the 19th Street suburb. Get property all across the country. People like Fina Bono building property all over Liberia, owning real estates. Somebody like George Ria, who was dead broke, even after he lavished his soccer money on Sescafe and assaulted liquor, was barely surviving on his yes. senatorial money. No, we and didn't. the reason, and then, then Michael Law said it in his interview that the main reason why we are ran for the Senate seat was for income. Yes. That's why we are went to the Senate. He did not propose a single bill. He will go to ECOWAS meeting in Nigeria along with Prince Johnson. We are will collect Padam and don't attend the meeting. He will stay in the hotel room and chill and collect the Padam. And it was because of we are them, ECOWAS had to change the law. And then the other when we when we when we used to go to Ecuador meeting, right? By the time you arrive, they'll give you your padam, right? They will hope that you go get your 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 lodging and uh, you know settle yourself. But when we had inside, they'll go, they'll take the padam, they'll not show up for the session. So Ecuador had to had to include had to change the policy. So nowadays, when you go, when we used to go, 
instead of you getting your money on day one, you spend the first two days there, then before they pay you. Now you, you got to come to session, then you got to sign in the log, then before mm -hmm. they get your money. But we have to go there, collect the money, and go lay down in your hotel and chill in Nigeria. Because why? He had no professional input to make at the, at the, at, at the ECOWAS parliament, no contribution whatsoever to any of the discussion that were taking place at that level, zero productivity. And yet our beloved Ellen Johnson Sirleaf saw this individual in 2017 and thought to make him our president. My heart too bad for that woman. The bad will be the bad. Sherry, let me hear from you. You wanted to talk on this topic. Yeah, Stephen, you know, as I listen to you, you know, in, in public service, uh, in public service, every serious country or government that wants to succeed, they can take the critical mass of the intellectual class and put them. That's why Ellen was putting small and effective government. But this government, because of lack of economic strategy and innovation, they promised job creation. They said it you know, create one or what I mean, million jobs. And then the only answer they could give over, and we hire civil servant who told you that in the context of development policy, that when we talk about job creation, we're talking about the one that is government. People are fighting to reduce government. Ghana, the last time I checked, I think their public services, if it's now around 20% or below, that are working in government. All the other people are in the entrepreneurial sector. You bring a bunch of people in government, you reduce people pay, professionals are in the country crying. I spoke to many of our folks from the Ministry of Finance. They are there, they are struggling. It's not easy. And as I mean, people who used to make like a thousand dollars, take that money and make it to 400, you know? So that man is not motivated. Only on serious government can do that. You can just say what's seven striking all around the place. The president goes to Capitol Bay and make political statement. And, you know, oh, I mean, we'll increase what's seven salary and blah, blah, blah. Up to now. So, I mean, it's unfortunate. Ellen Johnson said in time, the economy was always flowing in terms of civil seven being in power. You know, the market, that's why revenue collection. You know, that's why I laugh when you say, budget going up, but my money come down. But when budget was down, my money was up. What kind of economic policy is that? They're not doing any infrastructure development. Yeah, it's there. The people of Grand Gideon say, oh, my man. So they won't roll here. They won't sign it. They say, <coughs> if you leave all the people that get that number, when they take that number, Will there be left here? So they are not concerned. If you empower the people, the poor teacher that is way in the village, that man sending his son to school somewhere. He may can take pay. Small money is for it. Small money. And also, the level of indignity of our civil servant, that's why the president of the civil servant association, the man is compromised. More about Johnson. Every time you go low, you just get him talking after that against something you could say that. Because you can see what's seven across the country suffering like this. It was less than much the other day. Today is transport. It could be other people. All the indignity our people are going through. It's unfair. You're not creating jobs, the money just circulating among you, you know, you're building estates. And then say what seven dollars contributing are supposed to do effective service delivery. You don't care about them. How you expect a government to perform? You only own money making spree. Ali you bear your dream home on nine street. You looted the Liberian people money. These kind of practices are unfounded. And that is the reason why, in my opinion, and I know the Liberian people are aware I was supposed to register to vote and I'll see this individual because I brought deserve better. And that person 
Who's supposed to rescue our country? Just any man, Baka. I do. I realize something. I don't comprehend. How did we get here? How did we get here? I mean, Stephen, what you see, they say garbage in, garbage out. But we are not in that kind of any agenda. That's why we are colors people in the country. We are not going to any debate. They not say anything. People just say like, like they want to in. So somebody we are not talking. He not say anything. In my mind. All the things seven seven talking around people to do in government Canada, you can see them. They only go there and threaten our listeners. Somebody who, if you try, I'll call the police to come because a partisan police now to come and beat the people who provide this public service. Then what tomorrow government revenue drives and they be sinking so that oh, we can do they want when people go and register people car, take money, and you say corruption. You know, Stephen, I stopped this fight. And they, they, we are yeah, so let me play the old tip here from Molu when he talk about how we are. We travel here to it and let me see how the body. Oh, 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 we will save one for the corner when the money comes in that right there. That way, that you don't want to go for the money. This is not right there. The most similar mistake you can do is the The most similar mistake you can do is the one that you can do. You know, you can do the fast and the structures. I told you. You see, you want to do the rest of it. And the time you come in, you have so much, you don't pray for your very little event. You listen to you listen to Molu talk about these things. You 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 see government look and, and yes why and the other PR and uh Jupo, yes why I get confused. We we borrowing we borrowing more money than our than the previous government borrow. We're collecting more revenue than the previous government collected, but yet still we can't pay salary. Doctors are even Yeah, doctors are complaining that they don't have, they've not been paid since February. Meanwhile, several seven, many of whom making seventy dollars, sixty dollars, forty-five dollars. You have a president flying private private jet. He goes to the walk off for forty-eight days over over interage that cost the government one point five million. And then he comes out with these scam news and like brand new thing. Look, the fact that we and and and, 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 and then Miata struck a point about the legislature. The fact that the president can collect money, travel on to and just come and just talk anything there, and nobody there to even the man went to Qatar for the walk up, came back where he said Hung Hungary get, promised of 50 million, right? What the money that the Hungarian government promised of? He said he had a conversation in the in the in the VIP lounge at the stadium with the with the, the, the Sultan of Qatar. They meant they were going to get 100 million dollars for Nofaru. Where is it? And they were listing the achievement of the trip. The man goes to, 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 to UAE. He comes back the next day. They say they're bringing 50 billion. And the same day he talked about the 50 billion, the next day, education minister come and say. The, the educational system you one billion to, to, to resolve. So I said, you just take one billion for the 50. You just use the 49 to build other sectors. You know, you, you got a bunch of jokers. You got a bunch of jokers. People with, with, with no real desire to want to transform the country playing leadership role, and then we expect them to move Liberia into prosperity. Listen, and I, I thought we are who have made some of us shame. When, when we opposed we are in 2005, we just so believing that we are had no pedigree, he had no intellectual curiosity, he had no capacity and no fundamental understanding about governance, public bureaucracy, or moving the country in the right direction. 
And we argued in 2005 that any attempt to make we are president, Liberia will have plunged into chaos. 2005, we were all in the nooks and crannies of the country in the interior campaigning against Ria on those fundamental basis. Liberians listening, they did not vote for him. 2011, we still said that we are, did not have what it takes to be vice president to nobody. And that the vice presidential position is a heartbeat away from the presidency. So people who are prepared, because you will be prepared to be president on day one in the event where the president is not alive or the president cannot make it. Then came 2014, senatorial bid. We opposed, we are, that the guy had no desire to want to go in the legislature to transform anything. He wanted income. He went to the legislature. He did not propose a single bill to advance anything about the ordinary people, many of whom thought that we are have the country at heart. No bill to promote healthcare for ordinary Liberians. No bill to promote maybe uh, a, a welfare system for aged Liberians that we consider veterans from 60, 70 up. No bill to help young kids go to school, get maybe stipend or get some supplies. None of those things that will really, really, really impact the slum community that you claim to have come from. Then in 2017, we oppose you because we knew that for you to be, I don't know how come, and then the other was right, I don't know how come Madame Sali did not see this because we saw this in 2005, we saw it in 2011, we saw it in 2014, and we saw it again in 2017 that we are was a proved disaster willing to happen. And he's, he's proving all right. Six years as president, we are we are still things that everybody in the government there for six years with him. Even if the messing of Samuel Toy said that six years, if Maggie had not stolen money from the US and the US government such on him, Maggie will still be there. Bill will still be there. Conservino Sifos will still be there. Commerce Minister will still be there. Rice price go up, shortage come, people jump in the street, people all over the place looking for rent. Nobody is reprimanded. The government, okay, nine days later, like we're feeling forgetting the country moving on. All this all die, we go on the street, we do June 7, everybody come back to normal, it resets. We are back there. Zero, nothing happened. This is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. And if Liberians cannot use October to correct the wrong, we will be done with our country. Somehow we just pack our hands and just watch the process. So never say a word. Because we come here every day, we spend three hours, four hours here, we talk about Liberia, we talk about ways to move the country forward, and we talk about how it's important for us to elect the right people to move the country in the right direction. If you don't listen and you vote, we will be done. We'll be done. We'll never talk about Liberian politics. We'll just watch it from afar. We'll look for money, we'll call moral, we'll spend one, two, that we'll drink our beer, we'll buy around, then we'll come back. And all of all, we'll just watch because it means we deserve what we want. That's why we, and the Miata went in the studio, made a song to register to vote because she knows the significance of registering to vote. All of you who in Monrovia should be in line, and the Miata pack up there. Let a crowd, when Monrovia just to register, some of you right in Monrovia there sitting down and chilling. Bad people are elected when good people refuse to vote. That's how you let bad people because a, 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 a no vote is a vote for bad person. You need to get up, wake up, go register, encourage people in your community to register. It is important. Let that change happen. And if we fail in October, if we fail in October, Liberia will be like a joining from the wilderness to the cemetery. It'll be a looting spree. God, we are will not be facing the electorate again. Nobody will care if you support them or not because they don't need you. They will remove you from on your job if they find out that you didn't support them and nobody will say a word. No, Stevie, they can always, I mean, when they when they get that kind of power and they get comfortable, then they'll be thinking about third term. I yeah, they start thinking about tell them. Yeah, over them money, you can get go, you can get access more there. You can change the constitution for you to get yes. access more time. In 2017, the CDC were promoting George Weir for the next 24 years. 24 so, years. They were, they were playing to chapter and play book. 
They were Tell praying him, to death. He so, had not even said that if I walk away, for first six months, he was looking at 2024 20, vision. That's right. 27 years. He wanted to be like Todd That's what somebody told me one time. He said, Taylor had three characteristics of three presidents in Liberia. He used to dress like Tobin. He talked like Todd Man and acted like Doe. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> very true. Yeah. It took three president characteristics. He, he used to dress like Tobo. He used to talk like Tubman. Mm -hmm. And he acted like Doe. And why he thought we would have been a 27 year plan for Vision 2024 and then in five years. Mm -hmm. Where is still up today? Tomorrow, next year is Vision 2024. Why is still up to this language in the British self? Doing everything in one room. You gotta learn from history. Guys, yeah. We are because I saw the discussion going so going so so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just venting, yeah. We're talking about the whole salary team. We just venting, man. Yeah, but like I said, for me, when we, when we talk behind the scene, I did say to you on Friday, that was the talking point. <laughs> what the guys did today at Transport, they just a repeat of what they did on Friday. Um, we've seen many of those things in the past. We'll see more to come because that's what the country is. I'm sure there are laws on how salaries are fixed, but. The most educated 12 will go to Cuba protester and say we do this because we are saying we want to do it. We take, yeah, we're taking your salary to 150 gross. Get a president say we should do it. And he knows that gross uh, shows that that's not the amount that people will take home. Because after you remove the taxes from the gross, then you get a net. And 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 that even if they were able to take 150 home. Twelve and others, they gotta be sincere to themselves. Twelve doesn't have a full home, but I'm sure he knows how much he spent monthly to keep that home going. I'm sure he knows that 150 is far less than what he spends on each of the kids on him for just recess in school if they're going to school. He knows that 150 is so minimal compared to the toiletries, for example, that are being used in his home. Considering the way transportation system looks in the country, he knows that 150 cannot even pay the transport fare of a person, say, working with the Ministry of Transport who lives Dwala to go to work every day and back for one month. He knows that. But then they celebrate that, you know, to be something big they're doing for somebody by saying, oh, the president said, we'll give you 150 across. But like we all have said, and I would like to think that these are the things that are supposed to motivate people to go vote, to go register to vote. Are they doing so? I heard you say that would be the second talking point. Next said no extension. Mm -hmm. How far are we? <laughs> Do we have a good number of our people who voted? Because no matter how angry they all are in the country, I mean, who register, because no matter how angry they all are in the country, if you're not registered to vote, you're not going to vote. And if you don't vote, you will not be able to change anything about the state of affairs in the country because the only, only people who register to vote are the people who will be allowed to make that decision. And if they are the wrong people, they will make the wrong decisions Everybody else in the country was suffering. You know, I was having a conversation with a guy the other day, one of these ingrained haters. Oh, you had to change yourself, the country, after the country, you're, you're, you're going to sit down somewhere else, then you're attacking government. And then I said to him, the first thing you have to realize is that where each and every man wants to live, it's a human right issue. They have to make that decision for themselves. Two, I don't see myself attacking government. 
I see myself talking about the issues that affect my country. But if in your own choice you consider it as an attack on government, so be it. We don't have to debate about that. It's based on your thought process. That's your conclusion. Live with it. See me as a government, you know, anti-government person. See me as a guy who's attacking government. But I told you, I said, know this and know that well. I was never a part of George Weah's dream. You who had a dream, you have to live the dream. You don't force people who are not part of your dream to live your dream. It has to be a matter of choice. If I want to live your, because we knew what this man would have brought. Y'all in the majority said he was a man for the country. Isn't it a, isn't it a good thing that you're the one who wanted you're the one living? I mean, even though some people didn't have the opportunity like me to get out, so they're there, but aren't they being punished because of the stupidity of many of you? So you wanted everybody else to be punished along with you? That's why I told you, no, I refuse to be punished. So I feel good that I'm out. And trust me, if we are defeated in, 20, in 2023, I say I'll be back. And I'll be, I will thank God for the fact that why you brought upon yourself, I didn't live with you. I didn't get punished by your decision. You're who did it, you're the one who got punished. Unfortunately, with some innocent people who were not part of your store, but they got no choice, they got nowhere to go, they got stuck in it. So they suffer with you. So I just saying this to say that's what happens when we got that power in our hand, we decide not to use it. There's a time people ready to turn the vote. People begging people to ready to turn the vote. If you got children, your mother, one of the statistics shows that women, children are in a good number, not interested. Why wouldn't they be interested? In the different homes, the various accounts we have, where the hospitals have been targeted by this government, they can't find what to do. That the women who are their wives, who are struggling, going to Douala, Kuwait, uh, running behind cars to sell something that in the way in the night, they see what kind of profit they made from it, then they go and go cold driving for the family to eat. Which means you're keeping your children hungry for in the morning until they, you see how the hustle gone as you're chunking your lap out over a car and looking for something. They get drinking water, finding something that way to be strong. When they eat that food, they go straight to bed with it, with digestive challenges. Got no action, no motion, you go straight to bed. You know the stress you're passing through to do that, to help your husband, to help your kids. And if you don't vote, you're saying to yourself, I want to remain in this condition for the next six more years. You may not be too lucky to see the end. Because the stress associated with looking at life can kill, stress can kill. Frustration can kill people. All kinds of things can kill people. If you don't see the need to remove yourself from that difficult life situation, you imagine your country. If for you, Liberia, you don't have to be in a political party. Forget about the other people who are partisan people, but you don't have to be in any party. But could you other say, even if you are qualified, if you're not in any party, you don't deserve a job. That they should give the job to only the partisans. You don't see the need to move them? Then don't cry for salary. All the people who protest and without wanting to really get anything. But if you went to check, probably 90% of them who protesting now doing that thing where the people who said, oh, by Ellen Johnson Sally, or you know the party people so corrupt that and get away. And they might have joyously, graciously, usher in this government. That came and whatever Ellen government was paying them, they slashed it in the name of harmonization. And began to give them money that can't even feed them, not to talk about other necessities of life. And the Ministry of Finance can only come to you and say the president say. Is it the president that sets civil servant public sector salary? And that's why they book ball. They may only say no other book. That's why he's saying to people, some of whom are very educated, yes, unfortunately to be where they are. You're telling them we we'll do this because the president said we must do it. So we, we, we need to expect this, Stephen. I mean, uh, to close on this issue for me, we need to expect this because if you say you harmonize, sorry, what did you expect? 
You are taking salary from where they were, commensurate with the economy, and bringing it to a place where you know the poor will not be able to live on it. But because you didn't have the money, you have packed your people in government. You came to power, like Jerry said, rather than focusing on the private sector as the engine of growth, as far as job creation is, your definition of job creation was to place people in government offices. So in offices where even there was no job, you place them there, they didn't have to go to work. Those who are constrained to go there, go to sit down on laptops and play Zuma. Can they crush? And they find their way home just for them to be able to earn a salary. And for you, you are creating job. That's your definition of creating job. Your wage bill hit the ceiling. Even the central bank that's supposed to be a professional environment, you bastardize it. You are forced by the IMF and, and other financial institutions to cut down all the incompetent people you put there. That's how the central bank were a little bit cleans. In most of the ministry and private, uh, uh, public corporation and autonomous agencies, that is still the problem. And that's the reason why you can't pay salary. The workforce at the Ministry of Transport when you came to power was smaller than why it is. You made it bigger. And even though you have reduced the salary because you made it so big, even paying them with a small salary is a challenge. That's the problem you created. You need a professional government that will come with the right people, the technocrats, the professionals, who you know you have. Liberia is not lacking in human resource capacity. We've got some of the best highly educated people who, who know how to run government. That's why Ellen did. Ellen didn't say she had to get you know, a job. She came way to a university here and said that the Christ took come. She came to the IMF and said, uh, 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 Antonin come. All she needed to do based on her connection was, I remember we, we paid this woman a salary because government didn't have money to pay her. To find the right people, put the pieces back together. You came, you deploy incompetent folks. They reverse everything. That is where we are. We didn't know it's six, six months away from changing it. Will it be changed? And level the Liberian people. What they want is what they will get. Like Jerry said, these things are garbage in, garbage out. You put in garbage, you don't expect to get something different. You put in garbage, you get garbage. You don't, you don't go plant cassava. And when you go, when you go harvest, you, you expect when you dig the ground, you see potato. It doesn't work like that. You put cassava in the ground, and if there's time for harvest, that cassava you harvest. If you put dick, I don't know, I call it dick pan or whatever you call it, when they sell you a dick pan, they want to sell you a dick give you. When you put it in the ground, you're not going to harvest cocoa or coffee. You have a dick pan. So go sow your seed on October 10. You sow incompetent people. You bear the pains. And I go in there associated with incompetence. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Jerry, yeah, I know you're about to run, so. Yeah, I mean, um, thank you. Thank you very much. I just want to say something small about this uh, election commission thing and then what uh, Petri Pia said. You know, I listened, I saw the press statement. Uh, it was on different media outlets that they have not extended the registration. Yeah, it's true. Some of the people are not willing to to actually go register. But those that are going there, the process they are going through, uh, Stevie and Virgin Pia, is very stressful. Some of these people, they complain, they, oh, when they go to the people, they don't want to act in their own food. And sometimes they say system down. You're talking registering a good number of Liberians in the political capital of our country. And also there are some deficiencies from the national institution. Yeah, we encourage our people to go and register. But if you say you can't extend the process with the level of the slow pace, well, we foresee something. They need to rethink their decision, in my opinion. Because the number of persons that we expect to register in Montserrat should be no less than million plus. Or two, three million, I mean, two million or something. But if you register less number like that, I mean, 
I foresee some kind of reaction from the citizens. I hope they play the game well. I hope they know what they are doing because there are associated consequences. And, you know, I mean, and finally, the issue of these people saying that, oh, some people cannot get a job and blah, 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 you know. I mean, when I got the KDI scholarship, it just, some of our friends that you may know, and you know, when I call some of that need, when they call Ministry of Education to find out how Jerry and Valide, you know, got scholarship, you know, interestingly, they call Ministry and say, ah, but how did Jerry manage I say the greatest of the people, they get a scholarship, who give it to them? So Valai said, but I mean, tell, interestingly, some of them came here. Some of them came here. They know how difficult it is to get a kidney and scholarship. It's merit based. Your pie, no, nobody. You, who are you talking to? Say, what you put in is what you get. You know, you're talking about the level of people saying you got to deny these people and this, that. At some point in time, as you are being appointed uh, as uh, Deputy Director General Alipa. But some of them are stressing, they can't work. He said, Chief of Office started. And you know, he said, Chief of Office started. <laughs> you know, I just look at it, I laugh. There are so many, you know, instances. Then, 2020, he asked me, I was supporting, I said, You can't beat the law, but you know, you can't beat the law. So, I mean, people say we hate people, but we're building our capacity, we're living our life, we are only speaking to our people. Then you say we hate. What do you who, who to do? Like, like my, my, my dear brother Abby will say envy. Envy for a wedding. You when Universal Liberia said you are doing this thing, we're advocating. You know how many people see you go in that country and carry transcript for confirmation hearing? So many of them say we hate that. Mama Molina will take the microphone and say, Dylan brother, can I be? I know who, blah, 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 blah. And Samuel would you have to resign that decision? You know, he say, oh, citizen must be given jobs. So many things. Only incompetent people can do that. And, you know, I encourage our people, let uh, register, because we have to change this government. Imagine we are seeing a first time where he's seeking re-election. He has no remorse. Reckless killing. All these things are happening. People are suffering. And then you gain second chance. They call to that the family say that grass will eat grass. Will eat grass. Yes. So let's change this thing. You know, they think, yeah, we have to pray for God to intervene. But they think, not their prayer. The Bible says, <laughs> faith with our action is a dead faith. It's a dead faith. So let's act now and register. So we can take the dead man from all our country. We thank you to you, bro. You know, at least you know it. In our country, giant, I think our country devil. So thank you so much. It's a wonderful time. I mean, I'll try to see you guys. I, I, like, that. I like that, Jerry. For, for country giant to country devil. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and, so, so you're going to work or you're going to the birthday party now? Where, which is which? This is Tuesday. Oh. I meet Tuesday. All right, I'm going to do my lay hustle. <laughs> Oh, your birthday was Monday, and then it's Tuesday already. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday. All right, all right. Two minutes to seven. Happy birthday, Jerry. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah. we consider we consider your birthday still on because it's still Monday, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I know. I know, I know that for a fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But okay, see you, Jerry. Jerry I you. You have a wonderful time. And then, Miata, thank you. Say hi oh. to that family for me. And you know, maybe if I come can I'll find I'll try to use you and see. I want to talk to the the erudite intellectual in, in the Republic of Nigeria as it is. He's in London. He's in London. Oh, he's in so London at the moment. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's shorter for you. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Okay, love. Okay. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah. You know, I hope to Chupo, Chupo, you need to come on. If you're listening, you need to come on. So that we're preparing for, 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 um, for course, you know, but I mean, Jerry's talking a very good point, especially when he said we are has changed from country giant to country devil. <laughs> I thought that was a very good one. You know, um, it's, it's, it's sad how many Liberians, um, 
that the guy who made a song for Dylan and he hears the devil, he said from country giant to country roll. Yeah, to country roll. <laughs> you know, it's sad how many Liberians um, thought that this guy had this country a hat. You know, everywhere you bow, oh, the ball got the country, oh, the ball got the country, oh, the ball got and that was one of the biggest defense. When you say, why are you voting for we are all oh, the bulk of the country are out. And, and we're glad to some extent, even though we're all feeling the pinch, but we're glad to some extent that they, 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 that's why immediately after he became president, he built his condominium. His his his, his dilapidated nine street resident, he refurb, he rebuilt it, broke that that trash down, built a new house, the one in rehab. Built a, he has a Jamaica resort. All of this happening when people in West Bank can barely find food. The 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 the, 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 the Atlantic Ocean is encroaching on the land. The sea erosion eating up their property. People go to bed. Every night with nothing. He didn't care. He went there and built one scale football fee. Said, you ain't get food to eat, but you get practice in the evening. The level of disrespect, the level of 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 we as deliberate attempt to treat Liberians as as nobodies. He comes to the country, he says nothing, he leaves, he says nothing. Nobody asks him any question. Those in authority at the legislature don't say a word, and then when we and we're just moving, we're just moving along. President came to the U.S. was invited at the CIA headquarters. We don't know what was said. The speculations. He goes to Dubai. He comes with a, with another vlog as, a, as some kind of nonsense. It's just over. It's just over. He's back in Morocco. He's waiting for Sunday maybe to go to church and. and and attack somebody at the beyond that he scan thing he called church. God's law. <laughs> yeah, he ready to go down Sunday and, and miss the air. <clears throat> you know, and, and Jupo, if you're listening, Jupo, you gotta come on so we can we can use your phone to take local calls. Jupo, if you're listening. Uh can I say something about yes, the, the, the National Elections Commission? Um, I didn't expect the I didn't expect the National Elections Commission to extend the voters registration. Now I'm just speculating and I'm just putting my own in there. But like I brought to the attention last week, the voting machines that we are using is not ours. It has been loaned or borrowed from the Ghanaians. That's why you have a limited amount of this equipment. That was the reason why the registration was done in two batch. So when they are finished with the first batch, you transfer the very same machines, etc., to the second batch of registrants. Now, I said last week, I do not know if it was purposely designed by the National Elections Commission. My experience with the voting was less than five minutes. And that is because I had received the NEC website to go on and register and came out with my code at the end of it. So on getting to the registration center, all I had to do was take my phone, show it to the young man who was standing there. He took his whatever, scanned my code, and he had all my details. So it was just a matter of taking the photograph, taking your fingerprint, and sitting down and waiting for your card to come out. But all of the criticisms that we're hearing from the registration center is man-made 
It's man-made, meaning we've, we've costed the National Elections Commission. Because how does your machine run out of cards? How? When you know very well that in condensing polling centers into major registration centers, you're going to have over 500 registrants. You're going to have over 500. So how come you are not prepared to have 500 cards that you'll have people standing in line and then when it comes to their turn, you see the card finish. Then they say the ink will finish. These are man-made problems. The Ceralonians say, hurry, hurry, bus trusses. You had registration to begin on the 20th of March. The equipment came on the 18th. So it tells me you trained your IT people or your people who were, you trained them in advance of no equipment if they got any training. Because you could not have trained your, your, your staff with that equipment from the Friday when they arrived in Monrovia and you were starting registration on Monday. This is so typical of us Liberians in 2020s. It's typical. Everything get basa. Everything is done with a laissez faire, no professionalism. And hey, we accept it. Liberians accept it. They stand in line, they can't register to vote, they uh, leave, go home, and complain, and are going back there again. And, you know, hey, I can't say I blame them. But I think the National Elections Commission should have given the information to the general public. Every single 18-year-old has an Android phone. Or they got iPhone. I saw some of the children like where they got iPhone. They aren't even trying to graduate to. And they stay on their phones all day. They stay on their phones all day. You are here, they didn't got data, but they will put data in to get on, on whatever they want to get on. All of these young people could have registered online, register their parents online, etc. Everybody gets the barcode. Five minutes a person. Five minutes a person. That is what is supposed to happen. But the National Elections Commission is concerned with money, who getting the money, and fighting amongst themselves, undermining each other, etc. The deputy is fighting the Chair lady, the chair lady, I mean, they got so much personal issues and toxic issues at that. How do we expect these kind of people to run an election for, for two point something million people? How? We're going to have all these ups and downs. Because everything Jeff PC. I know Devieta Brown Lasana. I know her. And she's a professional. She's a professional. And from the very beginning, when people were condemning her, that they were not comfortable with her position as National uh, uh, Elections Commission Chair because of you know things that, to me, really didn't matter. But I, I, I honestly believe, having worked with the likes of Francis Johnson Morris and Mary Branner, and others at the National Elections Commission, she would have stepped out of the plate. I really thought so. But obviously, you know, I was wrong. We make, we make wrong decisions. We, 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 we expect so much from our people, etc. And I'm saying you've got the, I know Devieta, I know Tipla, and so many people in that National Elections Commission. We've had elections since 2005. Good Lord. And we still cannot perfect it. 
and we still cannot perfect it. We grumbling about money. As soon as they say something, they pay. Did you read that the staffers were threatening to go on strike because they hadn't been paid? Because they hadn't been paid. So you know, it's part of the Liberian DNA, man. In twenty twenty three, it's part of our DNA. Everything. We're losing her. They're not turning into small Miami. <laughs> I'll see Senator Tudor here. Senator, are you there? Yeah, I think it's raining in Liberia. According to the report, it's raining in Fort County. It's crazy, man. Hopefully, anything the other will get her stuff. Um, welcome. You welcoming me? <laughs> yeah, we you creep on up. Where's the organ? I like the the I like my man who have video club. And he, the owner used to go high across the street. And be counting how many people <laughs> enter, right? So everybody in the community, everybody in the community thought the man was dealing because he would be hiding across the street and he would count everybody that entered him. Then he would just walk to the guy to the door. Yeah, the 20 person that inside today will show the same show tomorrow. So everybody in the community say the guy was dealing because he would know how many <laughs> person can cut in the video. So one day, one day, why you were hiding under the table across the street, somebody this spotted him. And I had a whole secret box. Yeah, he was all over on the, on the, you know, I would be under the table looking at who are entering your country. <laughs> Tell your TD. Yeah, but it's good to it's good to you 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 joining us. At least we can use your phone too to talk to some of our people. I'll see Jupo back. Let me see. Uh I think the other side back. Okay, let me say good evening to everyone in Liberia. Uh Radio Duba is on. On Friday, Radio Duba went off along the way because there was heavy storm in Grand Bassa County and normally. They do that, they cut the radio off when the storm is heavy so that it don't affect the equipment. And they are on right now. Uh, Bourgeois Radio is on. Let me say good evening to everybody. Thank you for welcoming me. And good day wherever you are around the world on, on the social media. And then Miata, how you doing? Thank you for registering to vote. You Look, have man. made your voice, you have made your voice more essential. Senator, I'm uh, not happy. Boy, I didn't for... see you. I didn't see you while I yeah. was here. You promised a visit. That's uh, true. <laughs> but I understand. You know me? I understand. I let her argue when I get general excuse or reason to argue. I like to submit. Yes, I like your business. Besides, Thank you. I'm, besides, I'm your older big sister. Fact, Always. In fact, you can be my son, Dar. How old of are you? Of course. You How and my mom the same age. You That's and my mom the same age. Yeah. yeah so, so you can't argue with me. You got home training. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then be at the Avini putting me in the box. Avini, Avini. <laughs> you got home training, baby. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So let me see how you doing, my brother. Let me say good evening to everybody. Where are we? Uh... Hey, I thought Jerry Nipa was here. Happy birthday to Jerry Nipa. Very dedicated member of our panel. Happy birthday, Jerry. I uh, wish you all the best. Uh, best wishes. Um, more years to come, Jerry. But let me not intrude into the discussion. I will come in uh, when I'm called. But thank you for welcoming me. No, but um, we, we, you know, we, we, over the two hours, Mark, uh, we're talking about, we just we talk about a couple of things. Uh, we talk about the, uh, the, the, the elections commission's um, statement that they will not extend, extend the, uh, the BVR process, the biometric photo registration process. And then secondly, we talk about the, 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 the protest at the Ministry of Transport. One of the things we were looking at was how come 
how come we're experiencing tremendous growth in terms of our revenue, according to the government? We're borrowing at a record-breaking pace. We've borrowed over $1.2 billion in five years. Uh, we've not been able to improve the conditions of the ordinary civil service. Many of whom, some of them make it as low as, as, as $60, $45, $70, $80. $80. You know, so we're just looking at it. How, how, how is it that government will, will you know, will go to bed and, and, and realizing it amidst the inflection, inflectionary, inflectionary pressure that has been placed on people's dollar that you, in this world, pay somebody $60. If you pay somebody $60 a month in any place on planet Earth, that person is, 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 will be placed on a suicide watch. Uh, because... Um, um, Steven, apart from the, apart from the staff on my, pers on my payroll, official payroll in the Senate, we got 15 persons on my personal payroll. We got to, you know, we got to help. I got yeah. 15 persons on my personal payroll. So when I take pay, they do take pay. 150. When I take pay, they take pay. 150 each, at least the minimum. And I want no tax deducted because yeah. that's directly to them. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. apart from the, the staff on, on, on my payroll, I got 15 additional persons. And now that the rehab center, is open, uh, a lot is also going there. Uh, you will notice that I don't waste my time talking about George Weah and criticizing his government any longer. I gave those people a long time ago. I gave Weah and his government a long time ago because I, I, I keep saying George Weah himself has told me, but not speaking to me, that we shouldn't put him there. Not because he's not speaking to me, that's not what I'm saying. I think he's speaking to me to look at him, his action, his activity. To say, Dylan, I'm begging you. You'll see the way I'm treating you in the country in my first time. And you're putting me back at your business. George Weah has given me that message and the message to the country a long time ago. Only very smart people can get it. Only very smart people can get it. I don't waste my time. I'm um, 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 talking about George Mia and, and what he doing. Where I don't even know where the president of Liberia is. And at this point, I don't really care. That's how much I've, I've, I have given up on George Mia because he has helped me to position myself in a way that, that he wants us to rescue him by voting him out of office because he's like on some uh, hostage to be on a ballot by his people. And let's talk about voter registration. Uh, 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 be before that, I've always said, <laughs> if you don't have TV at your house and you are in the street telling people you have TV at home, you are actually fooling yourself. When Samuel Twain and come and talk about budget surplus, revenue performing, revenue will not be performing and expenditure is troubling. Revenue is not possible for revenue to, to be performing. For, for the understanding of our people like myself, when I say revenue performing, it means we're collecting the taxes, the government collecting money from taxes. Mm -hmm. When you collect the money, the taxes, then you also spend it in keeping with the budget. And one of the first priority of government spending or expenditure is salary payment. Once salary is delayed in any government, it means all of the government is overly corrupt. They're collecting the money, but they're overly corrupt. And so they're using it anyhow without accountability or they are not collecting the money at all because of the kind of governance they are carrying on. It is bad, it is poor. Nobody wants to believe in this system. So people are not investing in this system. And somebody who are bringing in 10 containers before and paying taxes to government, they have reduced it to two or three containers or no container, no shipment at all. So out of the government, is, the government is out of line. 
The administration is out of line about revenue or, or, or collection performance, or they usually put country money just anyhow. So it, 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 it is just clear. John Weir is not even on my mind. He's not in my focus. He's not on my pathway. Pathway. The only thing that's on my pathway and on my mind right now is for the grace of God to allow uh, Joseph Boaga to name his running mate. Uh, hopefully soon. And, and, and so that it can be in conformity with his thinking, Liberia, loving Liberia, and building Liberia philosophy. And by the time that is done, the country will start to take shape. The assessment problem, hopefully, will wake up for people to know that a redemption and rescue is just at hand. Uh, government workers, I'm sitting down as senator. We haven't received, and now you can't talk it because they will say, but you're, that all, that all, you're just there for yourself. Somebody will ask you, Senator, please have me a gas slip, and you say, you get it, they say, you mean. We haven't gotten slip since November. We haven't <laughs> taken pay, yeah, yeah, we haven't taken pay, yeah. We haven't taken pay for about two months. If government paying you now, they give you a portion in Labrador dollar, a portion in US dollar. They give you the portion in Labrador dollar for a few weeks, and then the US dollar portion, nobody knows where, when it will come. Uh, today is the third of March uh, of April. March pay no sign. You can't be collecting revenue. Your revenue collection cannot be performing, and the expenditure is not matching. And the expenditure is not matching. Then are you lying like the person who says they have TV at their house and boasting about it in the public, but no TV at home? You fooling yourself. Mm -hmm. The only persons who will fall for it are the people who think you 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 being truthful or who believe you. But if you think you're fooling them, you actually fool yourself because when you go home, no TV there. Budget surplus, breach. Revenue performing, breach. For us to pay salary, we got to be taking loan or uh, credit facility for year. The government can announce in a very joyous way that a World Bank or IMF has loaned all ten million dollars, and it's a big deal. And all these loan and credit facility, all this money we're loaning uh, and, and we're borrowing, go largely toward payment of salary. In the administration, in the government that borrows money from time to time to pay salary, it, that government is doomed for failure already, already. Because when you're taking loan, you must take loan for investment, for empowerment mm -hmm. of, yeah. Loan must come with some return, some benefit. If you have to take loan to pay civil service salary, that means it is troubling. And that's what George Weir and his regime and his gang have been doing from time to time. That is why they rejoice and make a big publicity headlines Whenever there's some World Bank or IMF credit facility, just to fill in some gap that the government is not able to fill when it comes to very new margin expenditure. I'm, I'm feeling for employees of government, people who work in the public sector, who can take pay on time, so health workers, teachers, security people, forget about us uh, in a higher bracket. Nobody will feel sorry for us when we complain. Yeah. We, so, yeah, so we get more, more in the background uh, 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 among ourselves, and you borrow it from your friend ten dollars or twenty dollars, and when you get it, you give it back, and that's what we do. And that's the kind of reckless regime that we have, and that is why God ran the six years so quickly, fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fast as six years. Yeah, Ellen first term six year was. Almost yeah, to long. finish. Yeah, long. And, and this year is the first year January looked like it just came and flew because yeah. people always say, <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, the six years just went on, on their hand. Or, but before they could look at their watch or the time, six years, yeah, it's late. They can't do anything to recover. 
you cannot recover the story about the three missing Liberians. You cannot, you, you, you cannot heal the wound of Liberians who have been mysteriously found dead here and there almost every day. You, you, uh, a, a, a lot of other things happening. You cannot recall the wound caused by the, the, the removal, kangaroo removal of Kabina Janet from the Supreme Court bench. A lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things. Says yes, just ran, just like that. Because God, in his own wisdom, decided that George Weah would continuously be a, an embarrassment to the <laughs> democratic growth of this of this country and my people. But since they think George Weah is a solution to their problem, I got to give them George Weah so they themselves can take George Weah out of their system by themselves. Then they will look to me for redemption. And we are, we are just right there. Since he has just gone, Johnny Warwick came and just flew just like that. And we are in April, all of a sudden, just day before yesterday, we're celebrating New Year. We are already in April. Six more months to go. Uh, yeah, six more months ago. Months now, and not years any longer. And even see, DCS who love George we are more than their parents are no longer largely talking about 12 years. They didn't say can wait for this six years to end. <laughs> so we can redeem them. So let me let me make this appealing call. Go register to vote. Hello, Liberians following us in Lofa, in Bonn, in Grand Bassa, in Maserato County, in, in, in Nima County, across the country, go register to vote. Don't make it seem like CDC is so strong that they alone form a queue, and when you go on the queue, they can tell you to move on there. Go get in that queue. When they say the system is down, the system will be down and they'll be registering seditions. When the system is down, which is not supposed to be, the system is down or should be down for everybody. The delays are terrible, they are unacceptable, but we cannot come across as whiny as if to say some orchestration is being made against us. When they say the system down, while seditions can stay around until the system get out, get come back up. By the time we go to vote a voting a, a voter registration center and they say the system down, two, three minutes, we leave on there, then we start whining all on radio or on Facebook and, and the process law and they say the system down, but seditions can wait for the system to get back up. I will not tolerate. I will not embrace, I will not encourage whining. I will not buy into conspiracy theory that I have no proof about that this voter registration is designed in a way that it is for CDC and CDCs. Go and get registered to vote. You are I'll start right. there for now. You are right, Senator, about um, the patience and tolerance of our uh, voters. Like you say, uh, the first day when I went to register, I shared my concern with members of the class reloaded and I saw a lot of young people, but I didn't see the civil servants and older people. I, I was the oldest person at my polling station. But then somebody said to me, well, family, what do you expect? The children got nothing to do, they got no job. <laughs> they, 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 yes, they have nothing else to do, especially the first time voters, they're very excited about the fact that they can get the card. And I don't know if you got any kind of feedback, but the first distribution of the cards, Liberians are just, you know, fascinated. Excited. Yeah. yeah. About this yeah. Card. So yeah. by, the, by the time they went home and showed their cards, which was not like our paper uh, uh, registration before photocopy and uh, this is a real card, the young people are getting in the line. But like you say, Senator, 
our people too have to be patient and and find out the easiest way everybody go to NEC website get your children to go on for you register that go through the whole process once you get that barcode at the end of the process you stand in any line in fact i heard as of last week there were lines at certain centers for those people who had not filled out the form and those right. people. if you got right. a barcode you stand in the line with a barcode and right you when it comes to your time you will be out of that line in five minutes right so be patient i don't see it i don't see it as a conspiracy like you sir like i think it's just the librarian dna you don't do things properly how do we run out of ink you know you need ink how do you blah 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 and, and everything else so we just have to encourage them and 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 i think it was pierre who brought up the thing I also saw it in the newspaper that our women, our women are not very enthusiastic mm -hmm. about this whole voting exercise. This is nothing new. This is absolutely nothing new. In 2005, it had to take the then gender minister, Vabla Gayflo, to actually go out to get women to come and register. And I'm very proud also to say at that time, my mother was at the elections commission and she saw the number of women, they followed the number of women who had registered and it was very low. But like I say, Baba went out there, all of us, all of us to get women to register. And and this and this was not on a um, political partisan basis. So we need to we need to do the same. Um, maybe the gender minister of now is talking to women. Unfortunately, the politics has now divided us. So you've got the CDC government against everybody. And, yeah. Um, which is so unfortunate, you know, because we are all Liberians. And uh, if you check, we are all interrelated. We are all interrelated. And, and please allow me. Go ahead, sir. Please allow me, Pia, please indulge me. I want to make a special appeal call to ANC partisans. Please go register to vote. Please. If you notice, most of your leaders cannot register to vote and display their voter card to encourage you to go register to vote. April 9 will mark the end of voter registration in Montserrado County. Okay. From the first phase, Montserrado, Grand Basso County, Magibi, Bombing, and Grand Cape Mac County, April 9, a week from now, or less than a week from now, voter registration will end in Montserrado County, in Grand Basel County, in Cape Mount, in Magibi, and in Bombing. You've seen Joseph Waka register to vote. You've seen Nyambi Kanga register to vote. You've seen even President We are registered to vote. You've not seen Mr. Comment registered to vote. The reason is because uh, some group of lawyers or some people, I don't know why, they have Mr. Comment to agree to file a lawsuit for the Supreme Court to pull hot to voter registration until election commission will do new electoral redistricting in keeping with the population census. And because of that, you can be in court asking the court to pull hot to a process, then you go engage with the process. 
So ANC top leadership cannot be seen where you're starting to vote. When they say this process should be halted, please go register to vote because I believe that the case filed by ANC before the Supreme Court to put a prohibition, to put a hot on voter registration process. That case was prematurely filed. And if it remains as such, the court, I believe, will rule similarly. When you conduct census, the Supreme, the, the Constitution says, the result of the census will be used to do reapportionment of electoral districts in keeping with the new population figure. But the election commission cannot and will not use a preliminary result mm -hmm. to do reapportionment of the electoral districts. The result of the census must be final. To satisfy. Exactly. What Legis announced is preliminary. For instance, when I won the election, the Senate was never going to induct me on preliminary report. The report or the result must be final and officially announced by election commission and I am certificated. And then I take my certificate accompanied by a letter from election commission to the Senate and deposit it with the Secretary of the Senate, who through the channel will announce it to the Senate that a new senator has been elected and certificated and set the date for his induction. You can use preliminary report or result to reapportion electoral, electoral districts. So the election commission cannot the election, com election can, uh, 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 commission cannot use the preliminary report. The report will have to be final and officially submitted. Then the legislature will have to do the threshold in keeping with Article 80D of the Constitution. It is that threshold number that the election commission will use to do the reapportionment. Until ledgers can come up with the final report, the Supreme Court, I believe, would not feel obliged. There is no legal reasoning to, to adjudicate that case and say voter registration process should be halted. Now, ANC is in court waiting for the election for the Supreme Court to pull halt to the election process and the voter registration process. Mr. Cummings and his leadership cannot be seen registering what happens if the court rules after hmm. april 9. what happens if the court rules after april 9 and say their case was not only out of frivolous but it was prematurely filed so they are not issuing any rate hmm. where we where we you're going to you're going to register so what about the anc Supporters that are in Montserrado, they are in Grand Bassa, they are in Magibi, they are in Bombing, they are in Magi uh, 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 Cape Mount, and I think Babolo. What happens after April 9? Where will they register to vote? Why would people around Mr. Cummings just allow the man to agree to them on something that is so of common sense reasoning that you can use preliminary? report on anything to use it for an matter. I know they wanted him to be in the newspaper with Helen and Cummings carry the legis, I mean the election process to court. Or uh, I don't know, somebody wanted legal fees. So I am calling on ANC base, ANC partisans, ANC supporters. Yeah. You're going to register. Some of the leaders of ANC have probably registered, but they can't make it public. Why? For me, they can't make it public because it will be in conflict to their lawsuit that is before the court. You can't tell the court that the process is not, it's not supposed to go, it's not legal. Then you register under the same 
illegal, quote unquote, illegal process or be seen as such. That is why Mr. Cummings have not registered. I haven't seen him register for him to ain't no motivate his base to mm -hmm, go register. Mm -hmm. Senator. So I am I am asking and calling on AFC folks in good faith. It is not politics. Some group of lawyers, either for legal fees or somebody somehow duped this man and and went ahead to tell him to go file a doc, uh, a, a matter that is prematurely filed. You have to go register the vote. We need everybody together. Go register to vote. I and just Senator, wanted to pass it. And Senator, I just wanted to add, because what I've been telling people, the reason why you should take the opportunity to register, I'm not even dealing with the 2023 20, elections in October. Yes, that is where we are. But it is advisable that you register to vote. You have your card. If October comes and you as an individual decide, I'm not voting. Right. But, but in maybe two years, there will be a by-election that you will be interested in. You would already have your car. To Correct. Participate. If you refuse Correct. during this month to register, we do not know when we will get an opportunity to update voters registration because you know our people we borrowing the people equipment we borrowing the equipment it could be for another six years so get that document so in the future you want to participate you are already ready to register because we found out there were a lot of people who didn't register 205 or 2011 and then someone that they actually liked and they wanted to support was going into a by-election they couldn't do anything about it because they didn't have the registration so that is that that's the angle that i tell people go and register to vote senator i understand you you know you're a politician and you're dealing with numbers but to tell you the truth Ume, the last we check the last we checked 2017, ANC had 125,000 votes. 125,000 votes. If they won't register, they won't register. That is so many. The 125,000 will not stop our candidate. Because out of that 125,000 senator, some of them are dropped. The money now flowing. Then they went for and then the other, oh. and they went for Musa Belete in the mix. So and then the other, every every respectful to respectful to disagree with you. I know you politicians. <laughs> <laughs> you can disagree. I understand. We need it. We need the numbers. We need and the you, numbers. You know, um, um, every Liberian of voting age should register the vote mm -hmm. because it is about themselves and the country. Yes. It's about themselves and the country. And when our people start to get this first, they will understand that. Again, um, please register in your district <laughs> That's another where thing. you live. Yes. Hello, people. If on your own volition you choose to go, especially to your home county yes. where you have interest, mm -hmm. and if you can take yourself there, or if somebody can get you left to go there because it's what you wanted to do, mm -hmm. no problem. Let me tell you, my people why it is important to register the place you reside, the place you live. Yeah. If that was Dylan took you to Bonk County where you don't know anybody, or the Grand Basel County where you have no particular interest, 
and Darius Dillon won the election in Grand Basel County, or you voted for him there, or in Bong, or say in Nima, or wherever, other than where you reside, and where you don't have no interest at all, that two or three things will happen, especially to you. When you finish voting for that person that carry you to that place, where you almost know nobody, you got no particular interest. When that person is not in a race any longer, especially for legislative seat or presidential seat, when there, it is a runoff, that person won't take you back there. And if you don't have the means to go back there, you will not vote, especially for president in a runoff. Two, in your own district, in your own county where you live, if there is a bar election, say for representative in your district where you live or in the county where you live, you cannot vote there because you register to vote in another place where you have had no business registering to vote. Please register in your district. If on your own, you believe you have interest somewhere else, okay, you can take yourself there. Number two, number two, if somebody tell you to banga to vote for them and you're living in Corway, for instance, if somebody take you to Bomi to vote for them and you're living in Nugutan, for instance, or Broad Street, for instance, the place you see, you will go make representative in another district, in another county, and leave it on those people there. Mm -hmm. Maybe. That's not the person the people wanted there. Then what happens when you come back home to Corway or Broad Street or Ganaville, you will meet some kind of representative in your own district where you live in that you did not want. So you're imposing representative on people where you don't live, where you don't have interest. And at the same time, you're depriving your district, your area, your place of residence of a proper representation. And you can be the first calling on the radio and say, my name, Peter Paul, I'm calling for the abandoned district. Who abandoned the district first doing voter registration? <laughs> yes. If you are not abandoned the district doing voter registration, the place you live, then the person who probably got elected in your district will be the person you want not to abandon your district, the place you live. I just wanted to pass this through. I hope I didn't take all the time. So, 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 how much asking? You can take um, all the. You can take all the time, Senator. Someone how much, is asking. Yeah, how much is asking, asking? What happens to people who voters who turn eighteen? Let's say May twelfth, they turn eighteen. So, during one of the uh, hearings at the Senate with the Elections Commission, the day I ask whether we have money for the election, and the Elections Commission informed us that there was no money even up to where we said if you guys follow the hearing i asked that, that question the video clip is available what happens to darius dillon who turns 18 in june july they say you can vote because our law is such that we have election period cycle every six years within the so the voter registration period is set in such that if you did not register during that period, if you turn 18 thereafter, it's challenging for you to register to vote. You got to wait for the next cycle of election. We need to review that law because in my view, we are depriving people their right to exercise. Yes, of course. So after the official voter registration period, when it closes, you turn 18, you can register to vote. Even next year, if you turn 18, the next voter registration period will be for 2029 election. So that means so the person, so that mean the person will be almost 24 years old. Yes. yes. And, and and the constitution nah, say the constitution say every Liberian of who has obtained the age 18 and above and has no record by law that will deprive them that right to vote should be eligible to register to vote 
That means it should be a continual voter and, registration and, and, and process. That's why, oh. though, that's why I've argued yeah. on this show many times yeah. that there shouldn't be no voter registration cycle. Yeah. That process should be an unending process. So yeah, as people too. turn 18, they should go to a particular place, get a voter registration card. Every year, they, they get a card, they get a card. Because in between, you may not only be waiting for national election. There are by elections that can come up. Yeah. Correct. So let in between, between now and the next election cycle, there should be a place where people go and get their registration card. Correct. So uh, we'll review the law. And once it does not conflict with the Constitution, we make the case for likely amendment to the elections law to make it uh, a continual process even after the official voter registration period. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because if somebody turns 18 on May 12th, they can vote. They can vote until they, until they reach 2029. Yeah, and the person will be 24 years old. Yeah. Correct, and that is constitutionally wrong in my view, and so we have to review that. Correct, and that is constitutionally wrong in my view. Who, who got any feedback at you, Paul? And so we have to. Let me go for my sunny on general. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, anybody else, yeah, we can take a few calls and then uh, and we go home. So boy, if we can take off on the end of the uh, uh, Senator Dillon, let me let me let me let me ask you three quick questions. So I, I was not surprised when the election commission said there will be no extension of the registration period because it would have made much sense to me for them to just jump out to extend. When none of the actors, and when I say actors, I'm not talking about just the opposition, the ruling party, the opposition parties, nobody has raised a concern with them about the shortness of the time and therefore appealing for extension. So in my mind, they would not have had a basis, and so they're not wrong when they say the time will not be extended. So let's go step by step, yeah, let's go step by step. Let's have the discussion. I just wanted to do it. Yeah, later. No, let's go step by step. Let's go step by step. Down. You know, I just want to give you three issues, then you can go step by step to discuss it. The second, okay. thing, is there. The second thing is that we witnessed in Yeke District where they talk about this girl called Antoinette that's supposed to be a sedition. Mm -hmm. uh, being involved in sending messages to Molu, uh, talking about it, she being a networker as a play called adult. Uh, Namu, Namuwa uh, and making some suggestions on what the chairman needs to do, carry a whole partisanship. that you can raise it. I don't know whether that caught the attention of any of you in the opposition and whether you've done anything about it. Uh, and then I I just saw a video while we were on. OKFN is the one carrying that video. And that video is from uh, BYC field. I don't know whether you've seen that video. The field is packed. According to the reporter, in that field are people who are already registered to vote. And I don't know who's behind it, but there are people there who buy those voter cards for them. They have the poverty, the desperation, everything in the country. People just laugh. Pack. You got to see that video. I don't know whether that has come to the attention of any of you in the opposition. And two, maybe you can say something about your case because when I see when I see government of folks posting like Musa has some ability, nothing behind it. They just post it. I saw that like 12 minutes ago. Then it's like maybe the guy I just want some victory somewhere or because for the ruling party people to be doing those kinds of posts about somebody who's going to be a chairman of an opposition. So is there anything we need to know about your party and most ability that are making government folks to be making those kind of posts? So I'll show you go ahead and dance so you can flow down with them. Okay, thank you. You can recall that uh, regarding the extension, I particularly I have not been a fan of calling for extension when there was no need yet. The people, our people must not be complacent. We shouldn't be impatient. We should go register to vote. 
when we shall have exhausted the time and we look at the last election population, photo population, and reasonably it does not come close, especially with expected increase in the population figure, then we can make the case. By the time finish here, we're already asking for extension. And somebody will still be sitting down and say, okay, maybe we extend our time, so wait for the extended period. No, we shouldn't be encouraging our people to be the, that complacent. I, I, I'm not a fan of that, Pierre. I'm not a fan of that. I can understand, and it is disappointing. It should not be that the process has been slow. There has been some challenges, but it was not sufficient enough, in my view, to start to encourage the call for extension. Because even by the time you start calling for extension, the very people who said in our home, they will be waiting for that period of extension. They say, okay, they will extend that time. When they extend it at the time, we'll go register to vote. No, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not, I'm not going to encourage that. Uh, the neck officer in district number 10, thankfully she was exposed. We know that there are citizens deployed as neck officers. I know uh, few of the neck officers who are doing voter registration, who themselves are not citizens, they are partisans of some of our parties. Uh, if one of them became trick, uh, uh, happy tricker or tricker happy to start to send message to the political party and they are caught, then the elections commission should act. The elections commission has acted as far as I know as a senator they have not only replaced the lady from the center, she, they, she's been dismissed. That's action. She has been dismissed. As to the last concern you raised on voter card being purchased, I haven't seen that video. I haven't seen that video. Um, it has always been a, uh, a cry about people buying voter card. So when you buy the voter card, what it would mean that you use it to go vote for the person, or you buy it so they can lose it or lose it before the election, or you won't keep it for them, or what does it mean? Or you send or you won't buy it from them so that they can likely vote against you, they can be in number with cards in the hand to vote against you. Uh, all of these things we need to ask ourselves and then ask the question and then follow up to know the truism of what the allegations are. And so it's a good, it is a good uh, uh, information. I will follow up and I can, uh, I can guarantee you uh, will be... I just forward that video to you so you will see it You're on Messenger. Okay. No, I'm not on Messenger. Oh, you're on Facebook. Yeah, but I'm not on Messenger. And then matter when people people just get up and send you a message, if you love Jesus Christ, send a message to 10 person. If you send it, you love God. That I have no God. <laughs> yeah, read a message and and, 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 and and if you send it and you read a message, you will not send it to five person and in a different message. If you love God, no, that I have no God. That I want to love. All right, I just, uh, especially the, I just sent it to the class reloader room in on WhatsApp. You see it. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, and, and, and and people just see any kind of thing and share it to many once. They, yeah, you yeah. So I deactivated my Facebook Messenger even before I became senator. Before they say he sent it or not, he again beat no. That thing is annoying. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ died for you. Send it to ten percent. You do it. You let Jesus Christ know that I have no God. Confessions, confessions of um, those who are guilty of waiting for extension. Yeah. Approaching the two o five election, I'm in Ghana. Several of us are in Accra, and we are hearing about oh, come and vote, come and vote. And what was the natural thing between us, Liberian? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, people, man, they were extend. So we sat down in Accra, missed the first extension. Oh, they were extend. They kept, you know, they kept mm -hmm. inducing mm -hmm. people until Senator 
They just came out one day and said, pop, end of registration. So I was very involved in the campaigning in 2005. I was not a registered voter because I had not met the deadline. You see, so for those people who waiting for deadline, don't take chance. So you got time now, go register. Because waiting for the extension is not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. That's and regarding the Liberty Party case, yes. we've done final argument at the Supreme Court. There is no notice of assignment for us to uh, 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 be um, to appear before the court for the final ruling. As far as we know, it is not possible for the court to say that elections commission does not have authority to have regulatory authority over political parties because that is what the law is. Election commission has made it clear that they have never ever had a hearing in a Liberty Party case to determine a judgment. Everything they've been doing when well, Muza right, they reply him, those administrative uh, actions. When we made the full case at the Elections Commission, led by the political leader of the Kanga Lawrence, the day we marched at the Elections Commission and with our international partners, and we presented the full file before the Elections Commission, they ordered the hearing officer to hear Liberty Party case to know what actually happened. And by the time the hearing officer started to hear the case, Musa ran to the Supreme Court. The hearing officer took jurisdiction over the matter. Musa filed a motion to dismiss the complaint. The hearing officer dismissed his motion to dismiss the complaint because his motion to dismiss the complaint had no ground on the law. Musa and his team took a, an appeal before the, the board of commissioners the board of commissioners sat and upheld the hearing officer's decision that the hearing officer was justified to dismiss Musa's motion to dismiss the complaint and case against him and to proceed hearing the nitty-gritty of the issue at the elections commission hearing office. Then Musa ran to the Supreme Court with Judge Kaba presiding in Chima and said, he was taking the elections commission on, and, and the hearing officer on a writ of sanctuary. Writ of sanctuary is a writ prayed for by a party seeking, asking a higher court, asking a higher court in a view to correct an error uh, made by a judge of a lower court or a hearing administrative body. A writ of sanctuary. So the rate of sanctuary essentially says election commission cannot hear the case because they finished hearing it before and they ran out judgment and the time to take a few finished person. Election commission lawyer represented by former associate justice Michael Wright appeared before the Supreme Court and said election commission has not had a hearing in this matter. Every other thing we've been doing was administrative. Now we're going into full hearing before the hearing officer. So election commission has authority over this matter. For some strange reason, Kaba upheld the petition seeking for sanctuary. So we took an appeal before the full bench, and I believe we made a very positive, constructive, and compelling argument before the Supreme Court, the full bench. And Justice Kaba, who had ruled as a certain associate justice in the matter when it was before him in Chima, was made to recuse himself. So there are four justices, three justices include, uh, 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 um, in addition to the chief justice, sat on the argument from both sides. We believe we made a very comp compelling case and we are waiting for the ruling. The ruling is expected anytime soon. Um, I, will, I, will, I will look forward to the court uh, sending us back to Elections Commission because Elections Commission has the authority over this matter. 
I will look forward to the court uh, mandating the Elections Commission to receive Liberty Party corrected constitution against the one that was altered on which Musa and Eddie's comments are running around with. And this matter will soon be laid to rest. So when you see Kalasco then running around with Musa's name, uh, at least everybody know the game. In the whole game of porn, I just, I'm sorry for comments. Um, I'm sorry for comments. That's the only person I'm sorry for. Sorry, Senator, I've, got suggestion. I've got a beautiful suggestion. Um, where is the FIFA headquarters? Geneva or Italy? Zurich. I think it's in Switzerland. In Zurich, in Switzerland. I, right. would, like, I would like to recommend, uh, 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 Senator, that we post Musa Bilete as ambassador to Switzerland. <laughs> But if the mega wife don't start getting out, you go with Susan. I say send him there, let him be ambassador to get him out of the way because well, hey, well, well, he's, well, just a, he's just a spoiler. He's well, just a well, spoiler. Well, and it's good for us, the Liberian people. It's good for us. You know, our individual. Don't is worry. We'll, 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 correct that, that, we'll correct that mistake. Don't worry. The, 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 the mega wife, the mega will go on a holiday for my feet. I say, you yeah, send him to Zurich. Let him go sit down with the FIFA people and get out of the Liberian politics. We'll so, you know, at this, at, this, at this point, Musa is not a factor when we're talking about the future of the country. The whole country is sitting and waiting for Joseph Walker to determine the hope of the country. And that's where our focus is. Yeah. 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 I mean, let's take a few calls. And, you know, uh, one radio station, uh, one online show today, we're having opinion pool for the people to see that comments running mid. And it was it normally aired live on Musa's uh, Truth FM. Mm -hmm. And two person calls it, but what are you looking for running mid for coming for? And let him take Musa Benete or Moriah <laughs> Yakula. The, the, host, the host of the show started getting this. So when the people start giving running mail like that, then you know that where they put you in their mind already. So I don't waste my time on saying yeah, yeah. I don't waste my time on saying hey, You have political leader already in your party. You start doing the same thing that you political leader. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fantasy. You, you, I'm you, you're 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 yeah, that man hometown. So how you expect your party to win? He looking for paycheck. He so Musa, Musa will use ANC and Musa may likely win. You may likely win a seat in Nima. I say likely, and then comments and ANC will sit back and say, "Had we known?" Yeah, you'll be Most times, and then most times, had we known is always yeah. after the fact. Yep. I think we can take calls so that we can keep the yeah, radio station off of them. Just before you take the call, send the senator is on. I know. There's somebody who's been reaching out of me. It's a, it's a serial human interest story, and I think, uh, Senator Biron, then, you got to pay attention to these things. So, yeah, uh, they have sent some. The sense on Adrian student, let me see, let me let me be sure to get the proper information. Uh is it Toki or Web? The same Adrian students in this place from Legis. Legis send them. And after stay on I come and send it just bear with me because I want to give you the facts, so I want to make sure I get the person in there. I got a messages here. So I don't say something different. Get the person bend on me back to back. I have told them, besides saying I only should talk about hey, I ain't got no other power to do anything. Only the decision makers on the ground can help. Okay, they call this person. I think you want me to call his name because you're not hiding, because they've been abandoned, he feels. Uh, so, some Peter C. Dockboard. Uh, let just send them to, let me see the country, so I don't. Say the wrong thing. Is that the Philippines? I come in one minute, Senator. Let me be sure. Uh, uh, I, 
it's a terrible case as you explained to me and somebody like you saying you're in authority, the decision maker. So I just thought of bring it up since you I mean so you could do something, uh bring it to the attention of our people. So send well, the information I, put the information in the class, we let that chat will let ticket from there so I can get an honest okay, so the, on the radio. There were, were a group of people that went they need to pass after after three months probation. They need to go through certain tests. And if you pass a test where you go through the actual program, all the other people that went with this guy, they all failed. As we speak, they are back in Liberia. But according to his story, all of them, their accounts were credited, though they didn't make it on the program, they credited their accounts with money. Now he is there. They have not paid the school fees. They don't send any allowance. And he's the only person who succeeded and is now in the program. No school fees. And the, the, the whole thing is because politics. When they started abandoning it, according to him, they got pissed off that he tried to create the awareness about their plight. And they said, once he raised awareness and went to the press, he got to be on so help me God. So even though you sent all your citizens, the probational period, all the other ones fail. Only one man qualified. Because you have political issue with that one man. He's in the school. Right now, he's out of the dormitory because government has not met their obligation. He's under uh, 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 a visa that is not under threat. And nobody cares. Everybody has paid attention back to him. But you're right. I'm going to put a detail of everything you sent to me in the chat room. Right. Really and pick it up from there. Sure, I will. Sure, I will. Yeah. Yep, yeah, let's have a few calls, Tupa. Tupa, is really yeah. Tupa, is really you Ah, is you And now the normal. <laughs> 0887040760 are the numbers you have in the program please go ahead why chief I want to know that you know, the other issue is very common to play. I need to find out what the people want to eat. Two of the hours, I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to lie in the world. I want to say that. If I don't know anything, you will satisfy a people. So, what about the other issue? Okay, but I think, I think the senator just addressed that, but thank you. Hello? Hello? You live on the program. Please go ahead, Chief. Yeah, thank you, Jopo. My name is Benjamin, and I come from Carwell. Go ahead, Ben. Okay, uh, uh, Senator, how are you doing? My first time, maybe, to talk to you on this situation. But my concern has yeah. to do with the issue of the elections process, the registration yeah. process. There are a lot of information going on that the ruling party or the government are doing everything possible to make sure there should be a, a, a massive fraud in the election to your favor. And you guys are sitting and only making speeches and getting some statements. You guys who are joined the other people to go after this thing. Our picture is in your hand. Although we ourselves have decisions to make, it does not set that yet in the and the last is necessary or as for position leader. You're not cut together to do so that our picture will hold your responsibility. Thank you, so Chief. Thank you. No, no, let him be there. Do you let him be there? Boss, may you on the line? Ah, yes, what do you want to do? Suggest something, let me hear. Uh... This is my suggestion. Since the people mm -hmm. use the cheat, you guys who come together, it is not late yet. We will have for whether the ticket just get for this ticket. Put everything attached. Let's come in, come and do something about it. You okay, go stay, on line. Line. Stay, stay on the line. Stay on the line. Okay, let's say hold on the line. Hold on the line. Okay. Can you force comments and Boaka to come together? I sure wonder. Can we force them to come together? No, we will not force them. But with, with the idea to get with the senator, I know you to be somebody who, when you speak to somebody, even if they teach wrong, they will have reason to think. Just talk to this guy, he has not lived yet. You will not force them 
you think you think you think we you think we've been talking but the first thing i wanted to come happy with don't put it in your head that if people won't cheat and they're able to cheat and we start crying although that we weak and whining go register to vote and keep your card go register to vote and keep your card when you go to that voter registration center and they said they're not registering because you're opposition but the registering sedition they let all know when we do nothing then i mean we're weak but they're not they, they get special love for sedition and special love for opposition when the system down you can see them registering sedition and saying opposition the system down so we're not registering you so i beg us we get our out there we get and we will not make any cycle when you get another instance and let them know we made a sack then. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. So much. Let me get this person. Go ahead, caller. Hello. Live in the class below that. Please go ahead. What's your name? Where are you calling us from tonight? I'm thinking you have to put little little strength in your voice. Go ahead. I'm thinking you can call him from Puebla Road. Go ahead, Chief. Yeah, my question here is to the I said, my question is, I learn, I get monitor or two person and then. I am in the memo, if you know. Why are you here? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, my name is Otello, I'm calling from Minnesota. Yeah, I'm just calling and making an appeal. Um, I'm, I've been watching a show. I know it's not easy. We all want the CDC government to be out of power. We have bad blood among the opposition, between the opposition, things are not very easy. And we know that the surrogate of Mr. Gwaga and Mr. Komi have created most of the problems. But I just came from Liberia. I was in Liberia, back to back. The book about this day. I'm just appealing, Senator Dillon, you have the courage, you have the audacity, you have the mind. And I know the person you are. We voted into, into Power twice. I feel it. Whatever the situation, for my own understanding, my own story from Liberia. I know Baga, um, over Baga have the number. People just come and get the money. But to save Liberia under the danger like goes in, for the sake of Liberia and not for the sake of personal interest, for the sake of uh, I agree, I, I ask you, we cannot force these people. But I know if I, I have that belief, the leader of the Baga will be coming. To themselves, they will want to reconcile, but the sorrow gave on both sides. We have they have been bad, they are good to the people. But Mr. Taylor, so, uh, so, uh, boss man, okay, what kind of people you want to do? No, I beg, yeah, I beg you, I want to engage him for, for 10 seconds. We are in the best, I want to engage him for 10 seconds. So, you want yeah. Boaka and Cummins to come together, right? <laughs> No, don't put that one in Baza. Any more black and coming to come together, eh? Yes. Yes. Eh? Yes. Yes. Black uh, and coming to come together. Face a ticket for us. Yes, yeah, so face that ticket there for us. Who, who tap, who second? Yeah. Anytime I face a ticket, I need general support. The Musa Bede and Jayla, why would they have a good there? They saw the problem of Jayla, but they're like, remember, that was Jayla, that was Musa Bede. No, that was no, leader one. No, leader one. Leader one. There's a ticket between Boaga and Kwame. Who more comes? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be honest. I'm a Kwame supporter, but I'll prefer Boaga to go as a standard bearer. And you Kwame supporter, you're not there coming that one? I'm a coming supporter, but I prefer Bogart to go out to Senator Barrow. Yeah, you say, you say, you say. Are you coming supporter? You're not telling that one, and he agree in an in, in the intro of the country. Okay, I should answer the question. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I have answered the Bogart. I've answered the comment, but I think Jayla is in a position to do it. Where I am, I cannot reach your Bogart. I cannot reach your comment. If I had the power and the mind to do it, to do it, I wonder like I would have done it. You think we not do it? You think we not do it? If I'm level, 
the old man, the people that ran us. And I said, okay. the old man, you get too, you get this up. But I think the surrogate are the one created the problem. Okay, let's stop it there. We can't keep on. Okay, thank you, my brother. I'll take I'll note of that. Man. Thank you. Yeah, well, at least uh, we we expect international call right now. But the person that was calling before, the, one minute, the person that was talking before you came in at international and local call, only international using that number. Ah, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, good morning, uh, good afternoon to everyone. I'm Hassan Dugley calling for, from Minneapolis, Minnesota. All right, well, Senator, good afternoon to you. God, there, how are you doing? Uh, we're doing great. It's just like we always listening to you every time because we know that you are the eyes of the hopeless so we always follow you and one thing i wanted to say is like i would like for us to a little bit forget about most ability and call me because there are something whenever we talk about them we are really making them feel proud of themselves because if you go to the market if you if you spend three hours you will get to know whether they will buy your market or not. Or people that you know that they cannot buy their market, just leave them alone because they are not marketable. And Musa with business will come to an end one day because nothing lasts forever. Mm -hmm. And we we'll always support you, honorable, what you're doing back home. We appreciate every single thing you do for Liberian people. And you get our support. I just from Liberia, I went and registered, and I just came. The 26th. So we have your support. So thank you very much for the time, and God will always be with you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank Come you, on, sir. Go ahead, ahead Dupont. Go ahead, caller. You're having a program. Please go ahead, Chief. Yeah, I, I'm Jay Helen Gogo, calling for Lamasi, member of the uh, JMB task group. All right. Yeah, uh, let me appreciate uh, the senator in the video there. Um, <coughs> Please go ahead, caller. What's the name we're calling us from tonight? Okay, hello. I'm uh, Moses Smith. I'm calling from Banga. It's good having you from Banga City. Go ahead, Chief. Okay, well, uh, what I want to tell the class is this. What of uh, Kumis or Musa, they are not to be even discussed. GNB is the heartbeat of the people. The only thing we have to touch on is let's continue to encourage our people because the hardship is too much in the country for people to leave that $1, $2 business and go for registration. It may cause some problem. But you don't want to encourage it. And as I was telling you the other time, everybody is listening to the radio. We are following it up all over the country. That's my contribution. Let's continue to talk to the people that they take the can. That's all. Thank you so Thank you. very kindly, Chief. We have another person in the line. Go ahead, caller. What's the name? We have my legal challenge. Um, you know, thank you very much, for Steve, or for Jeremiah. Yeah, yeah well, thank you very much for the show this evening. But, uh, my brother, uh, I just caught my miracle of uh, who is supposed to. I think on the same term of Mozart County, uh, the old man in my, in my book, I, they are just trying their best for Kumi and Bafi to go to get a button. Kumi, actually, we don't know a problem, so I have a the only thing we have to tell one another is how to go and register 2023 or to what change, make a decision to see how best that the party GMB to me to make our president of Latvia because for what is happening in our country, Latvia is not easy. We are on a serious stress that we can't tell the source of price, the men being a country as we need of society attitude. So the only thing we can do is that forget about COVID. They go by the road, they will get the go by the road. We have money, we have the support of behind the fence. Thank you. For the name we order. So thank you very much for the show. Thank you, Chief. Go ahead, Chief, yeah. Come on, long way. Yeah, good evening. Uh, uh, class, we do that. Uh, good evening to my senators and Charles Delon. 
I going to uh, former minister. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, let me just say uh, the reason why Javadi uh, uh, just spoke the way he spoke is because uh, government of this day have become, you know, a government that want to force people to become maybe one party state because the constitution clearly says that to obtain job it should be based on marriage it should be based on religious you know affiliation or political party affiliation so if uh is saying that they will take that job and they will not give job to opposition it's also similar to the to those ministers and directors that manasseli left in government but they are being a a, I mean, a conflict of, you know, conflict between the CDC and the unit, unit, I mean, uh, NPP, LPP, that they don't have a job and that they excuse the poor giving. That they excuse the, uh, the CDC and giving to NPP. So these excuses are not granted. We think there's no guarantee that even if they are re-elected, there will be a guarantee for them, for even NPP of their job. So as an NPP person speaking with, within this line, I'm not, I'm not going to vote. Uh, CDC and no longer, I will, I will be in the opposition and I will vote opposition. Thank you. You are MPP man? I'm an MPP man. You voted, you voted for them in 2017? 2017, I voted uh, at PIA and we, are, we have not received a single one million job, our promise. We are yet to see a single job. And I mean, the private sector is completely dormant. This is a government that, that is not investor friendly. We don't even see the guarantee that uh, we have a job. So, I mean, we cannot have a youthful population, I mean, jobless, and then we have a youthful president that, that is not friendly internationally. There's no investment coming. I mean, we just lottery around with you know, mega food. In fact, our mega food these days, they are they come and place all tax on it. They, I mean, the, prof, the profit that used to be that reduced totally. I mean, everything is just leaving our, 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 you know, our hands. So we don't have the guarantee that they will even give our job. I know with the, with the looting that you will some of them carry on currently that like, we don't even see them prosecuting those who are being accused by the U.S. State Department and what have you. I mean, it will just be on a looting spree that they will be looting our economy and we are preparing that to, to retire them very soon. Thank you. Okay, brother. Thank you. Dupont, go ahead. Go ahead, caller. Hello? Good evening. Live in the program, please go ahead, Chief. My name is Michael Chipperson, and I call from the community. Go ahead. Good evening to everyone. Well, I just wanted to strike something out. Uh, I want to use this time to encourage people to go and register. All of what we are discussing can only be actualized if you have your voter registration card. We still have a little time, those that are in the States who are capacitated to make their way to Liberia. We are here, we are calling on you to register, to come down and register. If you cannot, add your voice to the many voices, encourage your family members and friends to go and register. This is the time that we all need a voter registration card to be able to effect change in our country as we move towards October. I just wanted to encourage Liberians to register. Thank, Thank you, you, Chief. Go ahead, Colin. Yeah, Michael. Michael yeah, Michael. Michael yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Thank you, Michael, for your call. Call on the line. Go ahead. Hello. Live in the program. Please go ahead, Chief. Yeah. Hello. Uh, let me say good evening to the team. And let me uh, say a special greetings to Alex Legislative Scholar. He is an associate in Darren. You're working one minute, old boss man. My, my name is Nicholas D. So, this is just an island from the borough of Cruton. So, I follow the conversation with key interest, knowing fully as well that we must remove. Uh, Mr. We are from the president, the country, uh, come of our team. And so we are making here, here in the forum, uh, what, what I've 
just want to recommend to the team and uh, even to Senator Delong is that uh, uh, Senator Delong, I know you since the elections, you have visited some communities, some districts, but you have not come to District 16. And uh, most time, you know, our people here yeah, will say, Oh, well, yeah, our Senator, we are Senator, why is this coming to this? So I think the presence in District 62 will make some great feedback. Thank you. So after the work that we are doing. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Tio. Thank you, Tio. Hello? Go ahead. Hello? You live on the class reloaded. Please go ahead. Thank you very, thank you very much. My name is Ibrahim Don Dipe. I bring to all the discussions of Kansas City in my country. Thank you for the discussion tonight. The issue of, you know, Mr. Omi, I think it's clear. We are here in Lima, we know that, you know, the heritage of you know, the full group, uh, uh, full parties and time. And talk to a resident coming to go and dance, you know, running the oral, you know, but the book. Or Mr. Kumi has refused, you know, say, you can't go at anybody, you know, driving me. So it's clear, we know it. But what we are saying tonight, let, you know, the, the ambassador, you know, make it fast and see that we are here, we are talking to people, or a day to day, to get ready to stop down in the town. In the Nima, in the town, so it's very rich, very rich, you know, can pick in Nima. And people are getting hard to get the rest of. We know that President will have said it. Okay, mm -hmm. accept it. What corruption in the serial debt in the setting of people here. So, you know, all these things. So, I said, you know, I've not seen you, but for a point, they say on the same board, you know, a session. Thank you. What it's there for, for the library people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Me take DJ Lome. DJ Lome, go ahead, Chief. Thank you very much. Let me say good evening to the ever leader in honor of Honorable Garrett Delong. We are not surprised that you scored that you scored the grade A and we are very proud of you because we know you can make it. But Senator Delong, my attention has been drawn to this thing that I, we went today to make that assessment and it is true that NEC has decided the people in Canada and other places, more especially financial era, that they will be registering only 100 persons. Yesterday, my, my son and my brother went to register over there and they said, only 50 cars, after the 50 cars, they were not able to register anybody. And people are fooling. So, this is to show to the, to the people of NEC that they are not serious. People are saying, what should go register? Yes, they are fooling. But then, when they say that only 100 persons, we said the day, it's, it's, it's traveling. So, we want to be. It was in, in that only one that person that will register every day to this center. It's a problem, and we are getting concerned for it. We are going there today to verify and what true. The people said it there that only one that person will be registering on a daily basis and the time short, and then they say that they're not getting additional day. So, no, but they don't please speak on the issue. Thank you very much. Thank you, DJ Lamar. So, Chief, yeah, please go ahead. Hold on the long way. Yeah. Uh... Uh, my name is Chris, uh, calling from the Midwest here. Um, I just wanted to commend uh, the senator for the hard work he does on a daily basis for the Liberian people. Uh, just so you know that we commend you for your hard work and continue to do that. Uh, my only concern that I have to raise on this show tonight has to do with voter registrations. And I see that oppositions block are complaining a lot, saying that CDC is doing this, CDC is doing this. Now, my uh, little observation is, if you continue to complain that CDC is doing this, and you are not doing anything to do the same thing, because at the end, the numbers is the one that we elect the new president. So if you saying that CDC is bringing out teenagers to register, you should do the same thing. If you sit down and you put your hand between your leg, at the end, the number will count, okay? We do not have any reliable database in Liberia to authenticate uh, whether this person is 18 and above. We just go by their height and their law. So I encourage the opposition block to do the same thing. Go to your community, go to your church, go to your house, go to your high school, recruit as many people as you can. So that if everybody's chakari, then we all can resolve it at the end. But if you sit down and just complain and they get a number, I think it will be too late. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Call on the language. Hello. 
Go ahead. Uh, this is Siaka Noah, and I call from California. Um, member of the United Party, the National Youth Branch, in the UP, USA, Canada. Uh, I just called to tell you guys thank you for the work done so far, and I really appreciate uh, steaming UPI and the rest, and, and to matter everybody for the work you guys are doing. And I just want to let you know that the leadership of the Youth Congress, we are here, we are supporting everything you guys are doing, and we'll continue to work with the leadership back home to ensure that just a human power is like that, come to the 23. And I want to say thank you for the good work. Thank you. Well, take your last bag. Take your last bag, and let me take one more or two, then we'll close. Cabinet for Fana, please go ahead. Uh, okay, thanks for the revelation for the sake of the listening public. Uh, once more again, I am Cabinet S. Fana, a member of CYM, and like I always say, my goal is to make George Ria a woman. Uh, before going to the issue tonight, uh, as you guys know that before the past few days, I've been doing for it. Because you know, Saturday or Friday, Saturday, you guys don't protest Saturday. And on the door, many persons who are serving as school workers for city party, they are working hard, come to the city in order for the party to be victorious. So, what in the process, do the up and down? Because I'm playing on two roles, I'm serving as school watcher and I'm still at the same time going from place to People get internet wahala. Don't forget it's Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, where is that Miami? You got where in Wahala? Yeah, you get, get internet wahala. Uh, yeah, I take two more calls so we can go. Yes. Yeah, 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 because it's three hours, 30 minutes. I really well, No one is calling, so then if that's the case, then we can okay, end it. Okay, we close. Yep. So let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's close. close. Yes, yeah. that time. Uh, uh, let's uh, let me say let me say thanks to all of our callers um, who participated. Uh, so let's go around the room for your <clears throat> your closing. Uh, Miata, we'll start with you. Um, PR, and then Senator will take us off. It's been great. Um, you know that we can come and discuss our issues. Senator, it's always nice to see you. And I'm sure you realize from the callers and people that uh, you do bring an added legitimacy to the class to reload it, since you are definitely there in the legislature and representing your people. So I have to tell you, thank you as always. And um, the caller, the last caller says, we're complaining. Senator Dillon has said, we don't complain. I'm saying if a particular polling station has told you all that they're only registering 100 for the day, then make sure you're in 100. Make sure you're in 100. Wake up. Wake up and go. Be the first in the line. Um, when individuals walk in, you cannot tell whether there's sedition or opposition. We cannot be that paranoid. At least I am not, and uh, I don't want to give the ruling party any kind of information. But my experience in Monrovia, and especially during the voting process, I registered on Ashman Street, but I went to Pipeline, I went to Jacob Town to see other um, places and how things were going. And I don't know, maybe my ears hearing different things, but the young people that stood in those lines were having discussions and it really gave me hope. It gave me hope because they might, some of them might look like Zogos, unemployed youth, etc where their conversations in those registration lines were an education to me. I don't, like I say, want to give 
the ruling party any help, but uh, they got to work hard. They have to work hard because the people are just, they jump in the train for JNB. They jump in the train for JNB. And from all of the indications of the poll so far, most of the people want to see the standard bearer in Yombri Kanga. I know it's not my business, but I will say it. Someone like me, I would be a little disappointed. I'll be big time because, hey, I'd like to see a woman on the ticket continuing our walk to democracy. However, if my standard bearer decides that, yes, the individual that he chooses has integrity, stands for justice, is not a criminal, I will go along. I will go along with that person. But if his running mate turns out to be somebody who has a closet of dirty clothes, I'm sorry, I will have to be on the case. If I can be on Musa Belitri case, yeah, if I can be on Musa Belitri case and other people, why would I be on that person here? I'll say, stand up, bearer, are you aware this person, you know, people are doing this and this and this and this, etc. And it will not be too late to change, trust me. We want the best for Liberia. We want the very best that we can carry in 2023. This is our dying hour. This is our dying hour, my people. So let's our people go and register. You go out there and register. Talk to the people in the other half. Thank you and, thank and you. good night. Thank you. And see you next week, Monday. Isha. Thank you. Thank you, Andre Miada. Thank you. Chupo, you're closing. Yeah, so just want to tell everyone thanks. You know, we had songs of court tonight. And thanks to all of our many regular followers via radio and the social media as well. So thank you. And God bless all of us. Good night from my end. Thank you. Thank you, Chupo. Chupo, yeah. Chupo you using you using reading glasses now? <laughs> the man say everybody get classy on <laughs> I love my boy. He's growing. Yes, I, I love that. Yeah, I love that. See, I like that. Yeah, yeah, your your final thoughts. Um. Yes, I listen to Entemiata, but I think at the same time, when people who are experiencing these stuff at the polling places raise some issues. We got to give it some attention and see how we make it work better. I believe that when the NEC officials or their team assemble themselves in the morning to the registration place, if the goal is to work from 6 a.m. to 6 in the evening, and 6 in the evening mean the last person who will be on the line at 6 will be a cutoff point, I believe that's why it should be. But when you go to a polling place and you propose that today we are registering a hundred percent, only a hundred percent, it shows that there's some problem or there are some problems. Maybe like I heard Andrew Miller talking about car finishing and all these kind of stuff. Maybe you go to that polling station with only a hundred car. Then my question is, what if you start at six o'clock and by four o'clock the hundred cars are being used? You end registration that day in a situation where you're encouraging more people to, to register because that's their power. When you end registration because you have a team, a hundred. So if you have that turn land that you open it, like you do on election day, you open the pool in the morning, you say pool, it close at six. By six o'clock, the last person at the line, you call it up. In the end, when that person finishes, that pool station closed. How many people voted then? Is why it is. That's why the time was able to 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 to, to accommodate. Nobody will accuse you for anything, but you cannot go to a polling place and say we only register a hundred percent here today or register fifty percent. It doesn't make sense. So I think we should pay attention to it when those kinds of issues are raised by 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 DJ Lomé and all. And then the final thing I wanted to say 
is we all saw this uh, glorious car situation, the daughter killed. We've seen all the drama that took place. And then I was seeing the papers that family making some requests, government refusing to give the coroner report and all these kinds of stuff. If somebody died from me, and you say you want to do autopsy or whatever, blah, 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 blah. If you have the fundings, I should be privileged to it. Second, we don't expect this stuff to be an unending stuff where you're keeping somebody cops for this long. When a young girl like that has been murdered and you have had a chance to do what you're supposed to do, you're so incompetent, you're so inefficient, that everything has been so messy. We can't keep it messy and keep the little girls remain laid down in some mortuary for eternity. We all know you ain't got no damn capacity to do anything. Investigation was just purely yellow waste our time. You, all, you reach to a point where you're almost wrapping your thing around the woman who is supposed to be victim. And in the end, we're still dragging onto a family crying. You can't give them access to this, that. We know you're not bringing about the justice. Let's see the report. You pushed for that. You wanted this thing. You've done it. What's the report? <laughs> not just that family. The, the public deserves to know. End this thing. Let know what has happened and allow the people to bury their daughter in peace and stop all these nonsense. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pia. <clears throat> Senator, take us home. General Pia. The mega five. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Stephen and Pia Jupo. Thank you, Ante Mieta, for your sacrifice to be on this show. Somebody raised a concern about that why is it that the embassy I believe in America, Liberia embassy in America is charging visa fee for thing Liberia holding dual citizenship to come home to Liberia. We passed the dual citizenship law and that law is only for Liberians to remain Liberians and also benefit from other citizenship that they may take out of their own volition or imposed upon them by being born on the soil of another country where the law allows. Uh, and the fact that the law allows you now to be a dual citizen, the dual citizen, that means you have entitlement to Liberian passport. Exactly. If you are traveling to Liberia on Liberian passport, you do not need visa to come to Liberia. If you are, for instance, a Liberian and an American holding both passports, if you want to come to Liberia using your American passport, then you will need visa because it means you won't enter Liberia as an American. Even though you are a Liberian, you will come to Liberia without visa, coming home without visa, only on Liberian traveling document. What is laissez passé? Or if you don't have passport, or if you have Liberian valid passport, you come to Liberia without visa. If you come into Liberia with any other country's visa, I mean passport, even though you are a Liberian, then you need visa. That is why they're charging you visa fee if you are in that category. With a Liberian passport, you don't need visa to come to Liberia. With a foreign passport, even if you are a Liberian, you would need visa in that passport. Liberian issued visa in our passport to come to Liberia. I hope this is as simple as light of day. Again, I want to say thank you. I want to encourage our people to uh, go register to vote. PR raised some very cogent issue that we should not downplay, that our people who are making these concerns or raising these concerns um, will continue to follow up but I'm not going to encourage people to be complacent. 
I, I am not one of the leaders who will buy into the system down and it's affecting only opposition. The, the system should not be down. But when the system is down and they are not registering anybody at all, there is not only affecting opposition. It's not designed in a way to, uh, uh, to affect only opposition. If, they, if you are in a queue and you wish to get registered and they say, oh, you you opposition, so we can register you, that is a valid case. If a NEC official assigned at the voter registration centers we misbehave like the lady in uh, district number 10, raise the alarm, bring it to our attention, and action will be taken like the lady in district 10, that election voter registration officer has been dismissed, not only from that center, but from the entire electoral process. That action taken when we have the information and the information is credible and it makes sense. Uh, so uh, DJ Lomer and all of our people who have these concerns will hear you, will continue to make follow up. And those ones that are credible that we can intervene for correction will do so. I will also follow up on the video posted uh, sent to us by uh, a peer in our chat room um, to investigate as to why, if it is true that the purchasing voter registration card from Liberians, who doing it and for what, so we can elevate the alarm for appropriate action. I want to say thank you, God willing. We'll be here on Wednesday. The class will be loaded. The political leader of our party, Senator Nyomdi Kanga Lawrence, has just concluded a congressional visit at the U.S. Uh, Capitol. Uh, she's in uh, Pennsylvania right now. She should be heading back to Liberia very soon. She had uh, meetings in the state of Maryland with some very top uh, business people. And she met with the Secretary of State of the State of Maryland. And they had some very fruitful and rewarding meetings. Um, we want to commend her and we pray for her safe return home to Liberia because a lot here for us to do to, to, to put this country uh, to where it should be. And then Miata made reference to the, the running mate issue um, that everybody want to know who Waga running mate is says a lot about everybody's belief, nearly everybody's belief in Joseph Waga's grace to rescue this country. And as a stakeholder at my level in this matter, we look forward to we look forward to Ambassador Bwaka uh, taking his decision sooner than later, and we look forward to that decision being in conformity with with his philosophy that says we should think Liberia love Liberia, so as to build Liberia. We started this fight. We have done a lot of sacrifice at the Senate to keep the country hopeful in the midst of despair, in the midst of hopelessness. Like the Bible, when God was angry to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he put lot to test uh, Abraham. He said, if you can show me 50 men, righteous men, in our town, I will save it. They looked, they could not find 50. And God kept on reducing it, reducing it, reducing it, until I think they couldn't find anybody beside Lot. Lot, Abraham's nephew. And the only prayer that Lord had was for them to leave the town before it got destroyed. You know the Bible story where Lord's wife will load back and she turned to the pillar of salt. Mm -hmm. So God <clears throat> can also help uh, uh, intervene to rescue the country when there are few persons standing up. 
And when few persons standing up, it can keep the country a little hopeful that things can change. And that's what we've been doing from our human best, falling down, getting up over the period to keep this country hopeful. And we we'll look forward to that decision of Ambassador Boaka to elevate the hope of our people. Uh, I may say this not to the liking of some people, but we all wanted Boaka coming ticket. We all rooted for Boaka coming ticket. It was what the country naturally desired, craved for. It only, it should have only taken common sense approach in the best interest of the country for us to understand that that was the ticket that the people wanted. When Mr. Cummings, including Joseph Boaka, decided that they would exercise their right to want to hit the ticket or to contest on their own, they, 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 they are left with no alternative but to choose running mate. And when the country was craving for, desiring, and rallying around a Boaka communist ticket, we from the Liberty Party, led by our political leader, showed no craving to contest for president or vice president. We're very supportive of the desire of the country until especially Mr. Cummings insisted that we will go to primary, the Liberian people will decide, will compel them to decide. And the CPP free web document that got tampered with, when we put that document together, we said that we derived the CPP ticket from one of three means, one of three means, not necessarily by all three means. The first means by which we decided that would derive the CPP ticket, we decided that it would be derived by consensus. Means we all generally agree. We all say, and, and, and consensus is not expected to be derived or made by people who will get common sense, people who got ego, people who want it, it must be about them. Consensus is derived by people with good intelligence, people who got common sense, people who can see the bigger picture, people who can reduce their ego and their, their, their personal ambition for the common good of everybody. And everybody said they wanted Boyka Cummings ticket. Do we fault F-A-U-L-T? Do we fault Mr. Cummings? for insisting that he wants to exercise his right to contest? No, I don't think so. When you gave us reason to have to choose, then you create the room for people to choose size and to decide. And it was under that condition that if we had to go to primary by all costs, it was under that condition that I said that as I was leaning toward Boaga, especially when Cummings was using Musa's ability to wreck our party. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank it's you always much. all about Liberia. And that's our focus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Let me say thanks to um, P.I. and Andy Miata and Jerry, who were, who were with us earlier. The big thanks to you, Senator Delon, for joining us, and to Paul to our many callers, all those in the comment section, to our radio station, Bourgeois Radio FM 98.1, Premium FM 98.1 in Banga Bon County, Radio Tupa FM 89.1 in Basel, Voice of Lofa 99.3 there in Bonjama, um, Radio Joy Africa 97.5 in, in Magibi, and uh, Voice of Compa 106.5 all the way there. Um, this has been the uh, Monday edition of the program, The Class Reloaded. I've been your host, Stephen Johnson. Um, looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday for another edition of the program. On that note, we'd like to say good night. Oh, God bless you, and you all have a, a wonderful, 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 wonderful rest of the evening. Bye bye. Happy, 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 happy birthday to Jerry Nyimpa. 
there yep. in South Africa, a member of our panel. Yep. Jerry yep. Newman, happy, happy, happy birthday. Jerry, I love you and God bless you. Yeah, man, but I've been here on his side. Oh, yeah, on his side. All right, guys, bye. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. It's all in the game.